Oh shit, I think we live right now, baby. Let's play some music. All right. Let's play some music and then we'll introduce our guest. Let me see, I should have had this ready. Dive into this real quick. What are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? Let me see, I should have had this ready. Let's go, baby. Hoodstocks on a Sunday. You know how we do this shit? Show me move the ocean, show me who the coldest, show me all the heads of my enemies focus. Show me all the heads of my enemies focus. Your dialect is crazy, this overcast day, my cemetery shady, these powerful men, why you do them like that? You ain't even his kin, you ain't never spilled blood, you ain't never showed love, he the right hand man to the man above. The Lord, the mighty, the sword will fight you, armor is still, heartless I kill. They're coming for your soul, sweet talker, can you smell the pot of burning bones? Got your damn mind, take that mind like home. I take it, I give it, I'm a preacher with limits, you a fisherman fishing, the power of pussy is not to continue. They sit and they sliver. They hiss when we enter. The lies and the truth, righteous, never confuse. You powerless fool, I harpoon your cocoon. Power is me, coward souls, I set free. She cool, she smooth. The princess of the emperor, dog, she thinks she make it move. Hey, hey, creature of salvation, dominated truth. Yeah, got a lot of food. Got a lot of people still power Kiss to my cheek, a solid iron fist, that squad you got a week. 1945, feel good to be alive. I was standing on the mountain navigating warships. Roosevelt, my son, you're done with your mistress, done to having fun. Churchill, you fat fuck, ever shoot a gun? Hitler need to die. You my chest piece, don't read the suicide. It's written in my pages. Hit that subscribe button. So deep, what Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like, baby. Let's go. Bowing in me, break for the bread. Cows of the sheep, lake full of heads of them. Bow to the leaf on the flow, the gold, the throne. I hold you wanna be my queen, but your cuff full of phlegm. Label you a zombie, you a walk, fuck dead, homie, cock ain't. We ride together, we gon' die together. Stay alive together, or we can fight whatever. whatever. In the world full of chaos, luxuries cut off. No lights or clean water, only fire to burn. Yeah, you get lucky, you get rained on. Stay calm, make palm, leave you with your face down. Ride the Valkyries, take a trip to Vietnam. Right, you nobody to bear arms. Yeah. I'ma still run around with the AR. Got a war mic, mine gone psycho. Take me on my throne, I bet he won't. After my dungeon, your funeral. Calligraphy, trickery, sickening mentally. Yeah. Jealousy's choosing my enemy's destiny. Look at my chemistry, I am the recipe. Ooh, that boy spinning right there. That's that boy Don Pablo. My cuzzo. You always hear him in the background talking all that mess. <laughs> Yeah, baby, feels good, feels good. Welcome to motherfucking Hoodstocks, baby. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I want to start this show off today by congratulating my longtime homeboy, Scrappy, and his wife, Jackie. They are 100% family. I mean, I'm talking about 25-plus years type of shit. Uh, I'd like to congratulate them on their new addition soon to be brought into this world. Uh, love you. You know what to do, baby. I love both of you guys, you know what I mean? Um... You know what? I'm going to give homie this right here, dog. Now, today's sponsor, if you haven't heard about Drake Talks Podcast, now you have. It's uh, uh, produced by West Covina Barber, Drake Cuts. The homie got a podcast that ranges from motivation to business to making it out the hood. He has an episode coming up with the rapper Swifty Blues, music producer. Go listen to Dre Talks Podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, baby. Yes, sir. Podcast supporting podcasts. This is what we doing today, baby. Okay, now today, hi, today, we got today. a today, baby. We got a special guest out of Bakersfield, California, representing the Woodpile and Prison POV. Everybody, give it up for motherfucking Splinter, baby. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. What up, baby? What's up, man? It's really good to be here, bro. You have no idea. It's you know, bro. It's really good to have you here, dog. You have no idea. I'm aware. <laughs> I've been watching your stuff a while, man. I've been, I've been peeping you out too, bro. I mean, so th the way this came about, if I remember correctly, and sometimes my recollection can be a little off for the benefit of myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> it's my story, let me tell it. <laughs> Anyways, no, I always try to keep that shit 1,000 even if it's for the detriment of myself. You know, yeah. I tell the grimy stories right here, baby, and I know you do too, dog. You have to. Yes, you got to, dog. You, to. you got to, dog. It's, fuck, homie. Because if not, dog, motherfucker's gonna be like, uh-uh. It's fake. Yeah, fake news. Yeah. 
the the, the, the orange man's gonna pop up and be like, fake news. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he ain't one of them all. Yeah. Hey, exactly, dog. Um, but so I was like, man, I need I need a fucking solid wood on the motherfucking Hoodstocks podcast, baby. I need to bring a solid wood to East LA, baby, and you know what I mean, represent for the motherfucking wood pile. And yes. what did the Goonies do? The Goonies fucking directed me to motherfucking Splinter, baby. Yes, Give did. it up again for them, dog. Right. Let's go, baby. Wood pile. That's right. Woo-hoo. Thank you. Skin it. <laughs> Skin it, brother. Put that on some. Thank you. Yeah. That's right, man. I remember that you put an Instagram post, actually. Was it an Instagram yeah, post? Yeah, and you said, okay. looking for a solid wood. And there were some other people, too, at a competition. But you salted that, and you said, I want that one right there. And I was honored. Here I am. Yeah, baby. Bam. You yes. know, it's, it's crazy, bro, because it's like it's like the, the game has changed, dog, because once upon a time ago, you guys were talking about, I want that one right there. And now, here I am. I'm like, yes. eh, nah, eh, eh. oh, yeah, I'll take yes. him right there. Exactly. Switches up, right? That was hella racist, dog. It was. I don't think I don't think everybody got that. <laughs> no, They're absolutely still not. It. It's a it's a it's a it's a poor chase of a, a poor choice of humor. And that is me, baby. Yes, sir. Hoodstocks, doggy. Cancel me. After the podcast, <laughs> after this podcast, yes, cancel yes, yes. me. How you doing, brother? Doing good, man. How was how was the drive out here? It was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I mean, no long drive is ever awesome to me, but I guess you know potentially coming on this uh, uh, hood stocks, the anticipation. I mean, you were pumped up, bro. You've been having all your people fucking hitting me up yes. on comments. I'm here because of Splinter, dog. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit, dog. I was like, hey, hey, bro. I gotta say this right now, the point of view crew. People who rock with me on my channel, bro, the best. They saw it, bro. I got thrown out there. Like, yeah, I got thrown out there like that. They are the best, man. And how did you, I mean, you know, obviously, bro, you're an influencer, bro. Who would have thought, bro? I mean, have it. you been influencing all your life? Man, depending on who you ask. Yeah. I mean, I think we're all influencing all the time. It just depends on if it's a good influence or bad mm-hmm. influence. Mm-hmm. I've been bad influencing all my life, dog. And now yes. I try to do the good influence. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, obviously, yeah, you got dudes that are rocking with you, bro. I mean, you got the prison ink all over. You got the signature fucking prison tattoos on you, dog. Yes. That all the woods got. You know what I mean? I even got some of those fucking faces and shit on my chest and oh, shit, yeah, yeah. dog. That's that prison to. work, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'm looking at you right now. I'm like, shit, that ain't no shop work. Homie no got way. that. That's all the, faded out and green, huh? Yeah, baby. It's all good well one thing about prison work is it's faded out in green but they don't know that it glows in the dark mm. <laughs> and, and it's earned and it's earned there hey, you now, go baby it's earned. it's earned i mean everybody's got tattoos now bro it's crazy mm. it's like cops got tattoos teachers got tattoos the motherfuckers that hated us for having tattoos got tattoos yeah. i mean bro like it's just like homie like sh- but everybody doesn't have this peck for life pfl right here Woo! Baby, hell no, they don't, dog. <laughs> hell, they not. And the I guns. I think that's why I'm here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what, what do you what do you have? Sixteens? Um, <laughs> Eight on each side. Sometimes I like this, and they say, "Hey, you got a string hanging from your shirt." Oh, it's your arm. My bad. <laughs> hey, let me hit that cigarette, dog. Oh, it's your arm. Hey, homie, pull the linea, dog. Yeah. Oh, that's my arm, dog. What Buggy the whips. Fuck? Buggy whips, so. Buggy whips. How you, you know doing? I mean? Yeah, that's what's up, doggy. Buggy whips. Yeah. Hey, bro. So, how long did it take you to get out here? Two hours exactly. That's not bad. Dog. And we timed it just right. Yeah. Yeah, pulled up here at 3.45. Perfect, not too early, not too late. Yeah, absolutely. I was I was a little, I was like, oh shit. I mean, I did, hey, Casey, did we tell homie? Man, if, everybody give it up for Casey. Let's see if we got his camera uh, fixed hey. today. Casey oh, is cool, man. Casey is cool. Casey, man. Casey hey, is cool. Hey, Casey, what baby. Up, what up? Oh, he got his chain on today, oh, dog. I thought you clucked that shit, dog. <laughs> for a motherfucking, you know what I mean? I mean, I thought he clucked it for a fucking, like, uh, uh, a gentrified fucking 10 speed or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> almost. All the hipsters almost got are driving a moped 10 for it. Oh, you almost got a moped for it, dog? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we got his fucking uh, camera fixed, eh? I don't know what was happening last week, huh? That shit was all fucked up, it said bro. it was overheating. Was it overheating? That's what it said, but like, it, it had a look, the whole time I was on the manual looking up what that, what that meant. Overheating, like its owner. Damn it. <laughs> Hot, gay, and bothered. That's Casey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Hmm. Fucking alpha hey, in the house. Uh, hey, who? Huh? <laughs> hey, um, so... 
two hours over here. That's not bad. Lately, I've been driving two and a half hours every morning to get to work, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? And that right there, and for a 10 hour day in the middle of motherfucking the, the Sahara, dog. You know what I mean? The Sahara Desert, dog. I mean, that's what I call it, bro. But, but do you have the option to stay over and you're driving home because you want to make a home every night? or? Yeah, no, I okay. stay I stay and a couple nights out that way, bro. Okay. Keeping the per diem for the pocket? Type Yo, shit? Oh, okay. My boy, know what time it is, baby. You're like, fool, stop telling me to stop, sorry, homie. I know you got the per diem. <laughs> <laughs> man. So let me wipe them tears. I'm wiping tears away with fucking extra money and shit, mm -hmm. dog. I'm like, man, let's fucking, fucking drive. And per diem dollars. Whoosh, take the tears right off. I'm going to smoke to that. Smoke to that, doggy. Smoke to that, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, are you an are you an advocate for uh, marijuana, sir? I smoke, man. I smoke. And yeah. I'm happy that um, they don't really test for it so much more in the workplace. It's not such a big deal. Do you have a job? I was getting ready to get one. Yeah. But then I decided I was at a fork in the road where I could either go to work and use my technical degree I discerned in electricity, electrician. I know you are as one as well, so I opened up that conversation. Okay. Or just go full blast on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Which I'm gonna do. Yeah. So. Well, it's like this, bro. I know you do both. Yeah. Well, I do both because I have to, bro. Family? I, yeah, no, I have to. I'm, I'm the breadwinner at the crib, dog, and I, keep, I gotta keep the roof above the fucking, the, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, above the fucking household, dog. Um, but yeah, if I could go full time on this, I think I would, bro. But at this point, dog, it, it's it's like we're slow and strong with our with our uh, like numbers and whatnot. Likewise. Like every number that I got that we have right here, subscribers, views, like man, we were. Some people work really hard for their views. And mm -hmm. how long have you been doing the prison POV? About two and a half years. Okay, so we're about the same time frame, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. We're about two and a half, three years right here, bro. Right. And um, it, how many subscribers do you have? Almost. 21.6. 21.6. And, and you do this out of your bedroom? And and what what kind of setup do you have? Out of my Are bedroom. You, out my of phone, your, my phone. You're doing it off your phone. So, so I have, we have like 27, you have 21.6. So technically, bro, you uh, are killing the game compared to us, bro. Because you're just in your bedroom with a goddamn phone, bro. You know what I mean? I barely and got a ring light. She got me a ring light last month, my birthday. Before that, it was just a ceiling fan. No, nothing about editing. We're trying to figure out Dropbox. Someone holler, help us out. Yeah. We're trying to put an intro on. We're just at the basics, bro. Yeah, well, you know what, bro? One thing about uh, us right here, the Goonies, uh, the Hoodstocks community, bro, is we love to help each other out, dog. So I'm sure if they can't help you out, if one of the Goonies can't help you out, bro, I'm sure that we can probably help you out with some of that, dog. I know Casey can. Hint, hint. <laughs> Casey, I can help you a lot, smart. You can tell he's smart by looking at him, bro. Not the stereotype. Casey K smart. Casey can and Casey will, bro. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know what I mean? I, I got you. Yeah, well, he'll take care of you, bro, 100%, dog. But that's dope, bro. Like... Imagine that, dog. Just sitting in your bedroom with a motherfucking phone. You can upload these motherfucking stories that you be telling and these videos and shit, dog. And and, and who knew, dog, that, that it would grow the way it would grow, bro? No idea, man. Yeah. you. No I idea. mean, you have absolutely no overhead, bro. Like, having this place right here. I mean, what is this place? This place is like $1,000 a motherfucking month and shit, dog. And it is nice. For those of you out there who cannot see it, you don't have the privilege. I always looked at this backdrop right here and thought, what is around it? <laughs> it's sweet, bro. It is nice, man. It's good. You know what, bro? I don't mind. I don't mind paying the money, bro, because we came out of a ten by ten bedroom, mm -hmm. a spare bedroom out of my house. Well, technically, it wasn't a spare bedroom. It's just that I piled up all my daughters, all my all the girls in one bedroom, mm -hmm. to on, in order to launch this podcast, bro. Right. And once it started making a little bit of money, bro, and then Casey came through, blessed that we were at his spot at first. But once I started making a little money, then I said, oh, you know what? I, and plus, too, dog, I got gas, bro. I can't be having these motherfuckers in my crib, homie. Never that. Yeah, no dog, way. you know what I mean? Like, like, dog, like, that's risky business, dog. But, you mm. know, scary man ain't going to make no money. So at one point, I was bringing these motherfuckers to my house, homie. Dang. They're walking through my living room looking at my babies and shit. And my babies are looking at them like, who the fuck are you, <laughs> fool? You know what I mean? You know? They're taking and, one for the team, huh? Bro, it, it, honestly, that's dangerous doing that, bro. Mm. And, 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 you know. I'm sure you use discernment, though. Yes, 100%. Well, with the dudes that I had on, if I didn't know them personally, I knew somebody that knew them, that knew them, that knew them, that knew them, dog. So if something, somehow something went south, my boy, you know what I mean? I would mm. be able to fucking right. mm. get to them, dog. Right, right. You know what I mean? GTA. Yes. Get that ass. Because I'm a pit bull, dog. Man, hey! I get to play. I'll find your ass. Pop up on you in the middle of the motherfucking night. Yes. You know what I mean? Jack in the box. <laughs> Anyways. Um... 
Motherfucking splinter, bro. I mean, is that is that your drug of choice right there? Yes, only yeah. drug. Huh? Only drug I do. Only drug. Of well, it's not really even a drug. It's like medicine, bro. It mm -hmm. is medicine. Yeah. Man, and I don't know what to put in it these days because I don't smoke now. Go through it. It was like that in high school. It's almost like those withdrawals with weed. When did that happen? Yeah, bro. They, I mean, they got this fucking weed dog that just puts you on another Man, planet, bro. Man, it does. It does. Sleepwalking at two a.m. eating cookies. Eating cookies, baby. Two a.m. Munchies, dog. Mm. Munchies are the greatest. That's my, that's my problem with weed, dog. I eat everything in the house, dog. And I got snacks in my house because I got kids, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's a problem, bro. Because mm -hmm. you start getting to a certain age, dog, and you start getting man titties like these right here and all kinds of just fucked up shit, dog. Like your body just starts just flopping out, dog. You know? How old are you, bro? <laughs> Depending on who you ask. Oh, we're going to run with 43 right now. But wait, 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 43. 43? Okay. It's not my body that's going. I don't think. In my opinion, it's my brain, though. Yeah. Man. How long has your brain been going for? I see. I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> you know what for, I'm saying? For a while. Yeah, man. long enough for me to not know. <laughs> I forget stuff, but the words in the wrong place. We drove by and there was someone uh, hiring. But I didn't say they're hiring, I said they're applying. See what I did there? Yeah, you, you twisted around. Mixed up. Yeah, it's like, you know. I mean, it happens. My girl does that, bro. You know what I mean, yeah. I think it's called what, what is the word for that, bro? When you when you uh, get things like backwards, the opposite shit like that. Stone. Stone. When you're dyslexic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dyslexic. dyslexic. Thank yes, you. Yes, my, yes, my, yeah. my girl's dyslexic, and you know what? I catch myself doing it too. So I have a I have a, a case, minor case of that as well, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's natural, baby. You know what I mean, time, time. I mean, you you probably done 43 years old, bro. You've been you know, uh, you've been in and out of the system. You've been mm. hardcore on drugs. Mm, I, have, I mean, I have. Have you have you ever done meth? Yes. Yes. Got on it at 16. What's that? Got on it at 16. Yeah, yeah. 16 to 25, doing it tough. Did you ever see that commercial? This is your brain on drugs? Yes. What was it? A fried egg. Fried egg. There you go. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> and they thought they could change that with the DARE movement, right? Yeah. Or was that part of the DARE movement? Officer, officer, Yeah. officer. I don't know. McGruff. McGruff, that's right. <laughs> Remember Officer McGruff, dog? We showing our age, right? I'm 45, dog, you know what I mean? I'm a fucking young buck, homie. Yeah. Like, 45? 45, dog. Yeah, 45, right. dog. Yeah. Hey, man, you don't get no uh, graves popping in on this? Because I have lately, and I know you guys can't see it out there. Thank goodness they're there. My girl says I got a couple springing out back there. You know oh, what I mean? okay. That's nothing, though. Every time she's eating my ass, dog. You oh, know what I mean? okay. Overshare. Yeah. We call that an overshare in Bakersfield, oh, boy. boy. <laughs> just fucking around. TMI. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, oh, hey, man. dog. Hey, who's, whose turn is it to get eight out today? I mean, this week. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, my turn. <laughs> no, that's wrong, dog. Look at look at Kate, uh, look at uh, uh, Preston laughing with his hot blue shorts on. <laughs> oh, those are any dude that wears hot blue shorts, that dude gets his ass ate out by his chick, dog. <laughs> Possibly by a dude, bro. I don't know. Look how short yeah, them motherfuckers are. <laughs> There's some fucking hot nah, blue. Them motherfuckers are Tiffany blue. <laughs> Tiffany blue shorts, dog. You know what I mean? And then he's got gray socks on and, and jap flaps. Mm. How you get them jap flaps, bro? Oh. Remember, remember the jab flaps, bro? I do. What are the jab flaps, dog? Walk through reception. Yeah, walking through reception. Walk through reception. Never give them to you. Yeah, yeah. Because remember the jab flaps? Did you ever get the jab flaps, dog? Yeah. The jab, yeah, those little fucking, I mean, in the 80s, bro, the jab flaps were in style, the black huh? slip-ons with the, the little brown. Yeah, the, you get them in, like, Chinatown, or you get them at the little fucking swamp meets and shit, Oh, dog. yeah, yeah. Flats. Yeah, they're just flat. They got like a fucking uh, hard plastic fucking sole, and the and no hard plastic. Uh, yeah, I guess you call it a what do you call it? Not the inner sole because the inner sole is a white cloth, bro. Oh shit! Mm. You never seen a jab flap before? Uh, Bruce probably. Ask your mom about jab flaps. She's probably had her ass spanked to it, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. That's bad. It's not bro. It's not good talking about your homie's mom, is it? Depends on how good a homie you are. Exactly. There you go, baby. Very. I mean, the, 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 the white boys ain't got no shame in the game, dog. I mean, every time I do time with the, with, 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 with the woods and shit, you know what I mean? Um, which is every time because they're there, right? You know what I mean? It's not, they don't ever take no days off from doing mm. time. Um, the, the, those dudes are the most wildest dudes and shit. But so, Splinter, like, what made you want to start the Prison POV podcast? I was getting off methadone. I started doing methadone detox. So if I was taking, if I remember correctly, 35 millimeters a day, milligrams, whatever it is, and I start dropping, so I'd make a video every day. I'm 33 now, I'm on 32, this is how I feel. I'm on 30, I'm on 29, nothing to detox. And right then at that time, I start noticing, maybe you remember as well, when your channel popped up two and a half, 
years ago. That's when all, a lot of the other channels. Kind of a movement started. Lockdown 23 and 1. He like put a lot of people on. A lot of channels popped up, and I did started ever, noticing did that. Did you ever come out on this show? Yes, I did. Oh, shit. Did that help you with Twice. yours? Mm, not so much. Not so much? No, like I hated on a lot. What did they hate on you about? Talking fast. They said you're still tweaked out? Yes, a lot of yeah. that. Yeah. Funky uh, haircut. I mean, which I love. They could pound it in their ass, right? Can I cuss? Yeah. yeah. Pound it in their ass if they don't like my haircut. I, mean, I, I thought <laughs> I invented the, the undercut because it was winter and I, I just put a beanie on it. It grew long. So I'm like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull all my hair up on top, shave the sides and the back and the sides and let it fall down. Like, and I invented a haircut. Thought, oh, that's an undercut, oh boy. And it does <laughs> not look good on you. So what do you and got? And I wore that on Lockdown 23 and 1. And so, they, so instead of focusing on your story, they right. focused on your haircut. Haircut and how fast I talked. I mean, But bro. look, at if I had my show and I was like, what is up? Welcome to prison POV. I was in prison one time. Those channels fell. I see those. You got to be like, what is up? Yeah, I was all crazy. The homeboy came to me. I was like, fuck that. I went to the shower and I said, oh. That's the shit they like, the energy, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if they can't handle it, I don't talk fast. They listen slow. Get right or get left. Yes, sir. Hey, what? Uh, <laughs> hey, what? I think Splinter just entered the building, everybody. Hey, someone, on the, someone on the live chat said this is Woodstocks. Yes, it is. It is Woodstocks right now, sir. Woodstocks. Yes. Yes, don't hate on it. Don't hate on my haircut either. What haircut? <laughs> oh, that's what's up. <laughs> what haircut? Got the cap blasted back. Yeah, a little mm -hmm. bit, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one thing about putting yourself out into this YouTube universe, bro. Mm. Um, you just, you got to have thick skin, dog. You do. Because you're, it's it's very, like, it's so easy, dog. For And it's so easy. It takes nuts, bro, to really put yourself out on these platforms and drink. You know what I mean? Like, you got to be real secure with yourself, dog, uh, to go hours drinking live. And and you got to be cool to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to be myself. And drunk or sober, I'm going to be good because I'm solid, dog. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Nothing stupid is going to come out my mouth. Sometimes it does with me, right? You know what I mean? It's natural. Sometimes you slip up. You hit a little fucking whoop, little 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 uh, uh, oil stain on the road, dog. And, you know what I mean? Slide yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it happens, bro. It happens, happens. Um, but you got to be... You got to be secure with yourself, dog. Yes. And one way or another, as a solid dude or just a really piece of shit dude, and you're going to represent whatever the fuck it is, right? Yes. You know, mm -hmm. you're going to you're going to you're going to ride with what it is. I mean, 23 and 1. Yeah, that dude was popping for he was. He's still doing his thing, isn't he? He's not doing interviews no more. What is he doing? He's doing he like he's doing reaction to courts, people getting sentenced alive for just reaction, anything to do with prison jail still, but just different. A couple of people told me about getting on that. They were like, hey, look, that shit will really help your channel, this and that. And I'm like, nah, I ain't tripping, bro. You know what I mean? He built a lot of people's channels. He, he blew he up a lot of people's Shout mm -hmm. out to that dude, bro. Shout, Shout out. out to that 23 Shout and 1. Shout out to Josh. Shout down 23 and 1. Yeah, absolutely, he bro. He, he, I mean, he seems like a pretty cool dude, bro. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And what he did right there is uh, pretty, uh, I don't know if the word would be revolutionary, you know what I mean? But just ahead of the pack, ahead of the time. And, um, you know, he was one of the, I would say he's one of the first ones. Oh, definitely. Yeah, and that's dope, bro. Mm -hmm. Just like with Hoodstocks right here, I mean, I always tell the fellas and everything, like, this right here is uncharted waters for, like, solid homies, Southsiders, whatever you want to label yourself, um, to do something like this, you know? And, and I tread easy, baby, because I ain't got a, I'm not bulletproof, dog. You mm -hmm. feel me, dog? Mm -hmm. and, and the first if I slip up, the first people that are going to get at me, dog, is, is the people around me, dog. Oh, yes. You feel what I'm right, saying, right. dog? So, like, I don't ever, like, I feel like I'm a bad motherfucker, but I ain't that bad, homie, to get fucking, you know, whoop the whoop whoop dog mm -hmm. on some shit, dog, you know? Yeah, and, yeah. and But at the same time, I'm not scared, though, either, bro. You know right, what I mean? Right. I, you know, if I got something coming, I'm going to take it, dog, you know? on whatever terrain I'm on and shit, dog. I feel I feel pretty resilient in regards to the way I've been able to move in life. Like, in other words, there's some people you can put anywhere, bro, and they will survive. Oh, absolutely. Are you, are you one of those dudes? Definitely. Yeah. And if you're going to be someone that's in now the pen, if you're going to be a rag, you better be one, somebody like that. Because you know what you're going to counter. You're going to go into a cell and you're going to be someone with a stranger never before in your life. You better be a people person. better be able to read them. Yeah. Figure out what's going on or a dorm with you know, 200 people you never met before. You better be a people person. I had a dude on a four yard, a Calipat four yard, bro, that every time uh, we're on a lockdown and every time he would drink, bro, he would get evil, bro. Oh, man. He would get real evil. And he was uh, in, our, in our in our side of the game. There's, you know, there's residents and yes, residents yes. are, are mm -hmm. homies that, that aren't from a gang. You know what I mean? Right. So this so what kind of fucked me up even more is this dude in my cell was a resident oh, man. and he was a little dude. You know what I mean? And, I, you know, dog, 
I don't want to, like, I don't, just because a dude's smaller than you doesn't mean that you can fuck him up. A lot of people have that fucked up because there's little dudes that will beat the fuck out your ass, mm -hmm. dog. So I never underestimate nobody, dog. You know what I mean? You know, you treat a dude as a fucking man, equal size, so on and so forth, dog. But every time this dude would get drunk off the pruno and shit, dog, he would turn into a fucking evil dude, oh, bro, and be weird. And he'd be sitting on, he'd be, you know, the, the, on the, in the cells where they got the, the, the stool and the desk, and he'd be sitting on the mm. desk and he'd be looking at him. I'd be like, what's up, dog? Yeah. And I, and I tell that dude, I said, hey, homie, what's up, bro? Mm -hmm. how, how come every time we drunk, dog, every time we drink, you flip a motherfucking switch and now you this guy right here, mm. bro? What's cracking, bro? Mm. <laughs> bro, he was a real weirdo, dog. Mm. And honestly, bro, I I went I went from Susanville three yard to this four yard, bro. So I, I you know I kind of was in his cell. He was there before me, type of thing. You oh, know okay, what I mean? Okay. And, and so, uh, anyways, long story short, bro, I really had to um, chill out from fucking this dude up, bro. Mm. I wanted to fuck his. I wanted to mop him up all over the fucking the cell, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, anyways, my homeboy Cricket, my my OG homie, ended up, ended up pulling me in his cell because his cell he had left. And he's like, "Hey, look, I'm gonna pull you in." I said, "All right, that's cool, dog." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But uh, it, it, it's I don't know how I got off on that, dog. But um, oh, you were talking about cell living and shit, dog. Yes. You know what I mean? And it's yeah, bro. Cellie gonna make or break you, right? If you have a good cellie, can make or break or stay there in the pen. Yeah. A good celly versus a fucked up celly? I mean, have you had some fucked up celly? Oh, hell yeah. Would, would you like sharing a story of having a fucked up celly? Like, what would, what would what would be a fucked up celly, bro? A J-cat. Yeah. And what's a J-cat for the people yeah, that don't I, know? Yeah, I gotta correct myself, too, because I don't know everything. Yeah. Even though I like to think I do. Yeah. I definitely do not. And I always thought J-cat is so... I don't even want to say what I used to think, because it's so odd sounding in hindsight, but what it is, it's a category J in the penal code. You're talking about mental illness. So J-cat. Oh, is that what it J. is? Yes. Oh, shit. I didn't even know I that. I didn't know that either. No, I, I, used to, I was told in the pen it's about peanuts, the peanut brand, and the cat was the mascot, so the J cat, and your nuts, you know, blah, 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 blah. No. <laughs> never that. And I repeat it, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I So there was always cats. So in the, cats. In, the, in the prison, in the prison system, if you took Skittles, a.k.a. Um, psych meds, you are potentially labeled as a J cat. You know what I mean? Because you're on your, you know. But at the end of the day, we would call dudes that are just burned out, right, not right. all there. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the ones a, I refer to. Homie's a J cat. You know what I mean? Not to cut you off. But you yeah. know what's, no, you're not cutting me out, bro. We, we, we're going to chop it up. We're going to okay. shoot it back and forth. Yeah, dog. Yeah. You got your fucking, I got my semi automatic. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got your fully automatic. <laughs> 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 we're going to just, yeah, just yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. pop yeah. this bitch off. Dog. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, dog. Feel comfortable. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. What you do on your channel, dog. Do it right here, baby. Okay. Be you 1,000%. Dog. That's what's going to happen. Yes. That's 100%, baby. Be you 1,000%, bro. That's right. I mean? Don't hold back. All these these boys right here are on your side, bro. We right. we are here as one, brother. And her. And, and her. Feel comfortable, brother. Right. This is mm. this is this is a family setting, dog. And, and these are all your brothers right here, right. dog. That's right. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like trip out Preston right here. He's never done no time, but if he did time, he'd be running with the blacks. Is that right? Cool. Hundred percent. Shout out to Preston. Can you get one of those things? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. But I don't think that would be the right rhyme fluff for him because if no. I was in there and he was coming in, I'd be like, come on, homie, get your little ass over here for him. I mean, get your big ass over here, dog. You rolling with the boys, dog. You bring know what I mean? Bring those shorts over here. Bring those little hot yeah. shorts over here, son. <laughs> you know what I mean? How much money you got in your books? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kicking. I need a Snickers. Man. You know? I need some sugar. Mm. Whose payday is this, son? Yeah, whose payday is this? Yeah. <laughs> um, but so what are some good sellies you've had and some bad sellies you've had? Good sellies are always homeboys. Like, I remember I went to Corcoran 3B. I went up there and I look in the window. You know, you look in the window. First one you get there before the cop opens the door. And I see a homeboy in there. It's Oildale on his stomach. Oildale's a neighborhood in Bakersfield. So okay. I immediately just felt at ease. That's my homeboy. No matter who he is, whatever kind of personality, we can work with that because that's my homeboy. Yeah, we, so, we, we go to the same jack in the boxes. We, Damn, like, we you know, know I mean? this. Yeah, we know the same terrain. We got the same connects. Yeah. We're wanted by the same people. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that. and that feels good, dog. It does feel it good. It feels good when you're, away, yeah, when you're away from home and you have somebody that you can relate with, like you can reminisce with, mm -hmm. home with, right? You Until know? they get a letter from your old lady. Until they, Whoa, that can get sticky, huh? I mean, how does that happen? I'm sure it happened to somebody. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a letter from your old lady? Or yeah. whose old lady? Well, if you're both homeboys, it yeah. wouldn't be out of the question that... And you could potentially be right the same. And she didn't know you guys were sellies. Yeah. And you just get there. Yeah. And Mel call, and he's like, whoop. Yeah, and yeah. how do you do that? How would you how would you navigate through that type of situation? Yeah, well, if he had the balls to show it, it would depend on whose old lady it really was. 
some, she belongs to somebody. The other one's just the, uh, you know what I'm saying? The sneak off guy or whatever. I don't know the nickname for that, thank goodness. But there's got to be a nickname for the second guy. Snake. Snake. What is yeah. it? Wait, Sancho. Sancho, yeah. Who is Sancho? Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Well, who's the, who's the Sancho? Are you the Sancho? I'm the Sancho. No. I think we're both the Sancho because we're both in here and she's yes. fucking somebody else. Oh, she belongs to the dude on the first tier in the corner. Yeah, oh, exactly. We're getting yeah. Over on him. And oh, yeah. And, and, he's get, and he's getting out in two days, dog. Yeah, oh, Guess man. what? <laughs> she's going to be busy. Yes. Yeah. 100%, bro. Yes. I mean, it's a, it's a grimy game, baby. It's a, how long I've been seen guys, i seen a guy get side stolen pretty good, put a zip on him. I know you know what that means because he had the nerve, more nerve than a broken tooth, I like to say. To his cell, this old lady is writing his celly, and he gets a address. Sees pictures, like what he sees, and gets the address. Thinks he could write, "Hey, I'm you know Sally's your old man. I just want to say real quick that I think you have beautiful eyes." Blah blah. Like she wouldn't tell him. Damn, your celly got at me. Yeah, <laughs> man, that happened. I've heard about that happening, bro. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That dog. is crazy. That's like, bro, you gotta be like, you gotta be you. It's it's a couple things. The dude, things. the dude thinks that you're really a punk, homie, mm -hmm. and he don't have absolute zero respect for you, bro. Nothing to worry or about. Or the dude is just burned the fuck out, dog. Desperate. Yeah, burned out and just on some, and you just showed him too many pictures of her and that yeah, G-string yeah. and <laughs> that lingerie, long, bro. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? You're like, hey, hey dog, shit. check this out. Look what I got, you know what I mean? And he's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like a fucking dog and shit, you know what I mm. mean? Or he acts like, oh, you know what I mean? Oh, oh she's whatever. She's all right. Yeah, all right. But, but as soon as the light's out, he's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's fucking jacking off to your fucking lady, dog. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I, I've been tweaked out a couple of times in the penitentiary, and uh, we've passed around pictures of our old ladies, bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we call them our old ladies, dog, but at the end of the day, if you're in prison, bro, and that's, that's kind of like community property, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's yours, but not yours. You know what I mean? And, 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 you know, maybe when you can get, when you get out, it's gonna be yours, but right now, it's kind of like. Not yours. Not yours, dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Been there, done that. Funny, you say packs around pictures of uh, old lady. I'm like, oh, your old lady wrote you were in there. What does that feel like? I've never had one of them hood rats write me. Yeah. Ha it hasn't been in later until life when I found the beauty of a loyal woman. Yeah. And know what that's like. Well, it sounds like you have your old lady here today, sir. I guess we do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. Sounds like you need to ride back home, sir. <laughs> hey, we have not made it official. Been real careful about that, believe it or not. Have not released. It's yeah. Oh, it's not official yet. It is now. It it's is now, it baby. Hey. Splinter is a taken hey, man. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, matter of fact. Oh shit, that'd be <laughs> sick, <laughs> dog. Matter. Dude, what'd you put in this fucking thing, dog? <laughs> I thought it was a Michelada. <laughs> I know. Damn. That's a Michelada. Fuck my life up. <laughs> God damn it, dog. Yeah, what you put in that bitch? Huh? Yeah, I just shit. asked for a water. I know. <laughs> Oh man, this, but, East, um, this East LA water got me making mm. fucking bad decisions. No, it's a good decision, but it's public. Yeah, you got to be careful about who. It, not everything is for everybody. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. I'm a very transparent dude. Me and too. You're, me you're too. 100 percent right, dog. Like I put out uh, information of, of my life, or maybe um, times in my life, situations so on in my life that maybe I shouldn't put out there, bro. Mm -hmm. But I do, bro. And you know, it is what it is, bro. You know, mm -hmm. but you're right. We should have at least some what, like some type of privacy in our lives where we just like keep it to the cuff. You know what I mean? Especially if I can keep it all the way real. You mind if I keep it all the way real? Yeah. Okay. So if you have a channel, you already threw out there you have a family married. But if you're a single guy and you're out there, you might get female fans coming at you. You might talk to one and then it goes good for a little while, and then maybe you put everything on pause and you make it public, and then you're just looking it's stupid because two months later it's not there, and you have to come out and say, well, I don't want public a couple months ago I was talking to her, but no, 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 I'm talking to this one. It's just, you know, you know, throw it out there until it's worthy of being thrown out there. 100%. Otherwise, you will be thrown out there every other day. You know what, bro? You're absolutely right, dog. And I see, some, I see some females that I follow on Instagram, dog, that I followed for a long time, and I'm not trying to, like, Put them on blast or shit on them, dog. But sometimes I feel kind of bad, bro. Mm. You know, because I'm like, oh shit, okay, this is a new dude. It must yeah. have not worked out with the last one. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you're not me maybe you're not meeting the right people, dog. Right, the right, right. dudes, mm -hmm. or maybe you know, 
you know, you got to fix some things within yourself. Mm, yeah. I mean, yeah, dog, it can be a bad look, bro. Mm -hmm. But there's professional females out there, dog, that don't put none of that shit out there, dog. You know what I mean? That's right. You know, know. And you just see you just see titties all the time and fucking Michelada, Santa Fe Spring Swap Me, like, hey, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, all that shit. And they put out what needs to be put out there. And in the background, dog, you don't know that they've been through, like, 20 dudes in the past fucking six months, dog. Mm. But, you know what I mean? But shout out to her, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Because we need those, bro. Not me. No. <laughs> well, yeah, not you. Because you, you need to ride home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so how much time have you done in the penitentiary, brother? Okay, I started out with a P number. And I did something pretty interesting, man. I never, ever I had a P number and F number. Okay. Never, ever once reported my parole officer. Never. So you know how it works. You catch that first term, you get three years of parole. You catch a verse violation, you get that other year, and now you got four years of parole. You either give that four years back to your parole officer on the street with clean time, or you give it back locked up. I, get, I turned all, both my numbers in doing violations. Yeah. So I did four years in violations on my P number, four years in violation on my F number. So eight years, just in violations alone. Yeah. Not to mention my terms. Absolutely, dog. Yeah, so you, I mean. Never reported to parole. So, and, and uh, what we call individuals like yourself that are going in and out through that revolving door, we call them regulars. Regs. Yeah. Regs? Regs. A yeah. regular, same thing. Regulars, yeah, 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 same thing, bro. All right. Yeah. Um, I think the heroin addicts say regs. They don't, yeah. want, they don't have time. Reg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like regular, 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 regular. Have you ever, got <laughs> have you ever fucked with heroin before? Oh, yeah, man. That's my downfall. Oh, is that your was downfall? my downfall. I got it in a headlock now. Yeah, that's good, I mean, dog. Congratulations, brother. That's good, brother. That's my biggest flex. How long have you hey, got? Hey, but you never get too confident with that, though. No, absolutely. I mean, well, once an addict, always an addict. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. You know, uh, that's 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 funny. A lot of dudes uh, are speed freaks, bro. Mm -hmm. You know? A lot of the white boys are. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the homies, too, dog, including myself, dog, in the past, right? You know what I mean? Jug of choice, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Go fast. But then again, you can, you can do the speed balls and shit. You know what I mean? Have you done a speed ball before? I mean, I've done... You no know, uppers, downers, all arounders, a little bit of everything. But what's scary now, the trend is fentanyl. That's what's jacking everybody up. You, it's, it's killing like people, bro. Killing people, bro. Where'd that stuff from come? I, I know don't it's know. supposed to be come from, but I have a little thing. I say from come. I'm not that drunk. So, yeah. Where'd yeah. that shit from come, dog? From come, dog. <laughs> it blew in like the wind. Yeah, it did. Bringing an end to the grin. I mean, it's 2022, baby. Man, I mean, the devil's alive and well. Yes, absolutely, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, but thank God, thank God for drugs, bro, because we got some of the greatest music ever put oh, out man. over drugs. Of course. You know what I mean? Jim Morrison. You play guitar. I mean, uh, yeah. Smoke a good bong rip, smoke me a joint. How good are you with the guitar, bro? I mean, I think I'm badass. Depends on who you ask. Who are your influences with the guitar? Well, I really like, of course, Corn from Bakersfield. Kind of going <laughs> Bro, I love Corn, bro. Slipping on all that heavy stuff. But what's crazy is I really love blues, slow blues. But I don't really listen to it, so I don't have an influence. So I guess it's just in me. Yeah. I play that blues scale or, you know. Yeah. And the blues is blues is dope, blues bro. Is blues, man. blues is just like you just talk about mm. motherfucking just like some jailhouse shit, yeah. dog. Mm -hmm. Just whoop de whoop whoop, dog. Yes. My girl left me for the third time this week, you mm -hmm. know, just mm -hmm. like fuck, dog. And she's writing up my celly. Yeah. Bang it down. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, yeah, dog. I feel it, yeah, bro. Man. The blues is the shit, blues, dog. shit, dog. One day, bro, so I've I've dibbled and dabbled in music throughout my time. Oh man. On the on the universe, bro. And Get I feel ass. like one day, bro, I want to do some like hood blues, dog. Like I want to sing the blues, baby. You know what I mean? Mm. And I feel like I've been doing it in this rap music that I put out a little bit, but it's just been in a different form. But one day, dog, I mean, I want to be that old man, dog, that's just gonna fucking tell them fucking old war doggies. You know what I mean? And yes, just, yes, yes. And just share the trials and tribulations of your boy Lucky Sun Zoo. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I got my boy K9 right here, dog. And Preach it, Don Pablo and <laughs> Casey. You know what I mean? He's over there doing. You know what I mean? Anyway, I got my boy Brad. You know what I mean, just like, bro, you just sing the shit, dog. You know what I mean? Just like, you know, them whiskey blues, baby. You Don know? Pablo, you know is that a painter? You know how I found this channel, Hoodstocks? Oh. Just yeah, surfing cool. through it. I see it look on YouTube. I pull it up, and that song used to be your intro, oh, dude. That's a bird ass fucking song, dude. And then I was so happy when you finally released it on YouTube. I was there for that, baby. Oh, the yeah. day you decided to go ahead and release it, yeah. the reason why you did that is because I asked you to tele telepathically. 
So thank you. You did, brother. Yes. You did. You put that motherfucker on. I was, woo, <laughs> play it again, play it again, play it again. My cousin who I live with is like, turn that shit off. Are you, are you talking about that? Can I get a moment of your time? Yes. Smoke of course that's little, what I'm talking uh, about. Lights again. What else chest. would I can be talking about? Drugs, yeah. guns, who does got us on the run? Let me shine a little light. Me. light. Can I get a moment oh, of your time? Yeah, I love no. it. It's, oh, I love you it, You know bro. what's funny about I that? I love it, bro. One, it's funny about that song is I got my boy Lyric Cruz. Shout out to my boy Lyric Cruz. Lyric shit, Cruz. Um, so Lyric Cruz has sent me this beat like fucking a few years ago before I released that song and I was going through emails and obviously he sent it to me at one point in time where I was just like nah dog that's, that ain't what I'm trying to do right here you know what I mean I'm you know like it wasn't something I was looking for at the mm. time but here I go like a year plus later bro and I'm going through my emails I'm like oh let me see I was looking for just old shit mm. and I found that shit and I said hey Lyric I said, homie, uh, you, is this beat still, like, you sent this shit to me like a couple years ago, dog. Is it still good to go, bro? And nobody grabbed it? And I and he said, which one? I sent it to him. He's like, nah, dog, fucking shit. Go ahead. Get it, dog. And I was just feeling it, you know what I mean? And it's I just, it. it came out like that, dog. I love it. Yeah, hey. dog. Thank you, brother. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, thank you, brother. Yes. I appreciate that, doggy. I appreciate hey, that. Back to what we were talking about a minute ago with trolls and just people talking shit. Yeah. How many people do you think would say in the comments when you were rapping and I jumped up into this, like, sit down, dude's tweaking, look at him doing that? It's because they ain't got the balls to do it. If anybody said that, I'm not saying they did. But that's the type of shit they do hate on. When you go outside the box and you show a little bit of energy and a little bit of confidence and do something a little bit unusual. Sit down, they'll say. We're talking about the haters in the comments. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what, bro? When you did that, bro, I was just like, that's what I do in, in the middle of conversations, bro. So me yeah. and you are alike, bro. You know what I mean? We are. Like, we are. Like, like, if you see me happy, you see my body language happy, mm, bro. Yes. You know what I mean? And sometimes I get the Tourette's, homie, mm. that I can't control my body, dog. Like, when I see a female that I might want to fuck, dog, mm. you know what I mean? I'm a married man right now. Oh, you're you know yourself I mean? off. Yeah. You're yourself off. No, I just start, like... <laughs> I mean, I just yes. start, start doing weird shit. I can't control my body sometimes. Yes. And she's like, no. what's wrong with that dude? You know what mm. I mean? You know, and, 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 you know, it's just like, sometimes I don't got to say it. My body just starts doing things. Like, like Casey sometimes. Like, he's around a bunch of men, and all of a sudden you look over at him, and his ass will be straight in the air, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, all right, well, his body is speaking, you know. Not Casey, man. Trying to speak Casey it. Right here? I his body it. I is trying to, to speak there. a dick into no. existence. You know what I mean? I don't know, dog. But, um, yeah, bro, I mean, it's like this, bro. You When you're around a, Italian fucking gangsters, dog, you know what I mean? Yes, you yes, fucking yes, yes, son yes. of a bitch. We gotta fucking whack this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I need my meatballs. I mean, that's a horrible fucking... Uh, no, no, uh, no, 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 with it. But, like but, they can get the fuck out of here. Yeah, oh, it's just, come on, keep it going. It's just all body mm. language, yes, baby. Yes. You know what I mean? You yeah. know? Huh. Can, can you it's imagine if you went to a strip club and there was no body language? No, just like, what the fuck is that bitch gonna do, dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you might body, have language body language is key, right? Hey. Cuz? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Son of a bitch. What does it mean when someone goes like this to you? What does that mean, dog? Fuck off. Fuck off? I think so. Like in you know Germany or something like that, England. I mean, UK? Yeah. Like this or whatever. Is that, no, that means fuck off, dog? Yes. What does it mean when someone, I have a homegirl, Ruby, dog. They call her Precious from my hood. They used to call her Precious from my hood. And every time back in the day she see me, she like, hey, Lucky. Mm. <laughs> what does that mean? That means suck it. That means oh, suck yeah. it. <laughs> I would just see her and I'd be like, fucking Ruby's wilding out, dog. But she'd be like, hey, Lucky. Ha! You know what I mean? And, and I always thought like, oh, that's some WWF shit. You know what I mean? Like, the bitch is trying to get body slammed. Like, I don't know, dog. You know what I mean? I didn't know what it meant, bro. I was just like, she's acting a fool. That's love. All right, she loves me, dog. You know what I mean? Let me ask you a good question along this line. Because I do these videos on my, on my channel called Viewer's Choice. I'll put out a community tab and I'll just say, hey, what, what question you want to ask? What question you want me to answer? What do you want me to speak on? And they'll you know, give me the topics, and I'll speak on about 10 of them. And someone asked me about sign language. I know you did a lot of sign language, you did a lot of prison time. This Mando. And they said, do you have anything other than just the letters? No, unfortunately. And I wish, because wouldn't you be there doing this like all day sometimes? Homies across from you with a big old freaking message. You're just like, damn, I wish there was just like one symbol for all of it. You know what, dog? I learned, I learned sign language, dog. Uh, a, B, uh, C, D, E, F, uh, G. Uh, wait, no, that's H. I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V. I learned sign. I learned sign language. Wait, you forgot the W. W. Yeah. I pile. No, no. It's crazy, dog. It's dudes that have done time know how to do know how to do sign language, yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah, for real. And and all that shit I was doing. I mean, 
a deaf person might be like, oh, you got that wrong, bro. But I learned sign language, dog, from a theater across from me, bro. A dude taught me sign language, dog, from all the way from the other side of the fucking theater, dog. Ow. And I would, I we looking at that shit, and, and, and then, and then he actually sent me a paper, dog. That had it, it. It was such a trip, dog. It had drawings of the hands, bro. It was, was some, it good drawings, though. Or they were good okay, drawings. Okay. It was an ET. It was an ET fingers, and you know, ET lips that fools come out with prison tattoos of. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was some good drawings, bro. You know, and and so I learned sign language, but I would hate it when, cause you got some homies that are professionals. They're like, kah, 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 oh kah, yeah, kah. yeah, yeah, and they go like this, and when they go like that, that means the next new word, new word. Yeah, when they go like this, it means new word, dog. You know what I mean? It's a crazy. That's how they communicate in the hole, dog. They do all this sign language, and they go like this, and it's the next word, dog. Yeah. Yes. you know what I mean? And, and so I learned it, bro, but I didn't. I don't know it the way some of these motherfucking dudes know it in mm. their dog, and that's because they have spent. Too many goddamn years in that motherfucking cell, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I got my little time in the in the in the, in the oils and shit like that, dog. But I, I can't even compare it to some of these fucking animals out there, dog. And salute to you, motherfuckers, for not only being able to do all that shit, but just having this right here in in control, bro. Yep. In control, dog. You can easily lose your mind in that fucking hole, oh, dog. Oh man, I was worried about it one time. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. were, you, were you on the brink of fucking bugging the fuck out? No, it's when I first got in there, and I knew I was gonna be in there for a while. It's a single man cell, and it's just. Hush on the tear, and I was like, "Am I gonna be sitting in here for a year by myself, all quiet like this?" And I got TV, and I was like, "Yeah, fuck it, dog. I'll stay here for two years." Shit, Golden Girls on again tonight. <laughs> Blanche <laughs> looking hot. Caliente's on. <laughs> oh, Caliente on Saturday. What? <laughs> yeah, Caliente, dog. Everyone it's was the only like, "Time oh, you watch shit. the Paisa TV, huh?" Yeah. Everyone Holy. at the Paisa side. Yeah, Caliente, doggy. I mean, remember Caliente, doggy? Fuck it. It was it was like a uh, Paisa channel, and they oh, called yeah. it Caliente, oh, and it was all kinds of little dancing. fucking little Latinas and shit. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah but dancing, dancing to some music that you would never play. I would never bump, bro. But it don't matter. You don't even hear them. You just watching that ass like this. And they're yeah. like, "Oh, you like that music?" And I'm like, "Nah, dog. I like that ass, dog. Mm. I'm just following the ass, bro." You know what I mean? Mm. I could tell I fucked up one time in prison, man. And I could tell age would would have made a difference. At a cell, he shout to homeboy Wasco Mike. Wasco Mike, baby. Wasco Mike, what's up, homie? Perfect Spanish. Has a paisa wife. The tattoo will get in my chest plate. And Wasco A yard, Bricelli's. Every on the weekend, he put paisa TV on in Spanish. It made me mad, bro. I said my top back is reading like so fucking aggravated. Like he knows I don't speak Spanish. What the fuck? But if I was smart, I would have learned it with them. Cause now I'm just wishing I knew how to speak it. I'm wanting to learn it. I should have just kicked it and had him teach me and watched it. If I came out speaking Spanish, someone be like, I got a cool stilo. That shit ain't gacho. Yeah, I mean. yeah. You know what's crazy about some of the blacks, the brothers, bro, that the, it, the, the reason why a lot of the homies started having to speak in Nawa is because the blacks were learning fucking Spanish, dog. Oh, the, yes. The blacks, so when the homies were giving their fucking whoop de whoop whoops through the fucking theater to the mm -hmm. next cell and ba 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 whoop whoop whoop, you know what I mean? And there came a point in time, dog, where you couldn't do it no more because the blacks. Yeah. And shout out to your brothers right there. Shout out to my brothers, Crips, Bloods, all you Everybody. motherfuckers, dog. You know what I mean? It's all love right here, baby. This is one nation right here, baby. You know what I mean? And, and we and the, the nation is to live, prosper, and and treat each other right, dog. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's that's we. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck what color you are, dog. A man is a motherfucking man, right. dog. And that's it. And as long as we ain't in motherfucking prison, bro, and we we can we can. We can congregate in our own fucking way, dog. But when you're in the prison system, I mean, there's rules, baby. You know what I mean? And so you, oh, yeah. you know, they, they, these rules were way, were made way before me, dog. You way know what I mean? Before we got there. Yeah, way before we got here, dog. You know what I mean? So don't be mad at you know at us, dog. You know what I mean? But anyways, you know, shout out to those dudes, dog. But yeah, the the, the, the brothers started learning how to speak Spanish, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's why the homies started speaking in fucking Nawa and shit, dog. You know. Because these dudes were up on game and shit, dog. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Shit, survival of the fittest, dog. Shout out to them dudes, bro. Yeah, totally. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, and shout out. And them dudes used to speak in Ebonics. Ebonics. Yes. Oh, they're no. roll call. Yes, no, yes. I think that's wrong. Oh, hold on a second, dog. Can I edit that shit out, Casey? <laughs> Yeah. Did you get that? Did you get that? We got that. <laughs> that was wrong, bro. Anyways, uh, no, they would the, the izzles and the They learned a language. The, the they have a language. The izzles, the whizzles, the kizzles, the lizzles, the lizzles. I mean, they would be like, bro, yes. what the fuck? Is this a Snoop Dogg song, dog? Like, the Ebonics <laughs> was crazy, bro. It's a whole I, language, huh? It's a whole language. I hear these dudes speaking this shit, dog, and I'd be like, bro, mm -hmm. nah. 
okay, the izzle to the nizzle to the shizzle to the whizzle to the pizzle. You, you so yeah. whoop, hey, cuz, er, you her, you know what I mean? Like, bro, like, what the hey, fuck, bro? Hey, how hey, would they do it, dog, Kaylin? Hey, yeah, hey, bro, you know what I mean? Hey, like, it just. Two soups? Two soups? <laughs> <laughs> two soups? I was like, oh shit, uh, chicken or chili, homie? Mm. Anyways, my bad, bro. All good. Yeah. Um. So, can we get to your story, brother? Yeah, man, absolutely. Yeah, I like to get in your story, and we're just fucking, just we're like, bro, we're like two mental patients, dog. I know. Uh, sitting at a table, like, <laughs> like, they're like, they're like, guys, this is what drugs do. You look at these two fucking idiots right here. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, hey, look at stick figure, <laughs> crayons, <laughs> and it's good. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, like this is good. I love purple crayons. Fun though, fun, huh? Yeah, you know, bro. Better than being like, um. Someone else, dog. I mean, better than being like that, huh? Like, um, it's not uh, me, bro. It's not me. It's not. It's not you either, bro. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Mm. We, I mean, we cut from the same prison cloth, baby. We are. Buddy. We are. You know what I mean? Bed sheets, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Man. Yeah. How about the bed sheets they cut out and draw on them? The cool ponios. Send yeah. a little bit of Spanish. Yeah. Ponio. How, how about yeah? How about how about when you when you get your fucking new sheets from the fucking from the laundry, bro? Oh, and man. it's still got the knots on it from the fucking being tied in the motherfucking yes. mattress, dog. I'm like, come on, dog. At least untie oh, the yes. knot, dog. Mm. But then you try to untie the knot, you're like, oh shit, I see why they couldn't untie that knot. That knot is like. Ah. Yes, yes. Or sometimes they cut them. And they cut the strips off so they could tie him. Oh, yeah. And then you'll get the... back and be our shredder from the yeah, cut. Yeah, you fuck, like, Damn dog. it. I know it's all short. They cut it in half, whatever. So what they do is, so you guys don't know, is so they put the mattress face down mm -hmm. and the back sides are like this and they put they get the razors from the from the uh, uh the shavers and they they cut slits and then they fucking cut strips of sheet and they tie them up dog you know what i mean on the mattress because you know dog you know, everybody got this mattress. I mean, you clean the mattress and shit, dog, but you don't want to be fucking, fucking wake up and drool yeah. on the fucking stuck to the fucking mat. Like, you want to stay clean. Keeps you, them tight. Keeps them nice and tight, dog. They'd be sliding all over. Exactly. What is that? Like, it's a shower curtain material, that bed mattress, huh? But if it was a cotton, everything was soaking to it, so I get why they do it. But what is that material? The cover the mattress with some weird shit, huh? I don't know, dog, but uh, that mm. shit, I hope it's waterproof and all it that shit. It is waterproof. Mm. Yeah, all yeah. that COVID proof, hopefully. COVID proof. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bro, there's been, a, I've been hearing a lot of dudes in the penitentiary, dog, that, you know what I mean? I'm worried passing. about one of mine. Yeah. I'm worried about a good homeboy of mine. Yeah, what's going on with them, bro? I mean, I sent a package. We're in, we're in touch. Tough. A good friend of mine, my dog. In fact, an, uh, I don't know if I should go the way there, but another prison channel actually talked shit about him. That's how I got in contact with him again. He's a good friend of mine. Or another channel talk shit about him. So I wrote my homeboy. I said, this is what this dude's saying about you. And he wrote back. Then I made a little video talking shit about that prison channel for talking about my homeboy like that. But what didn't pr put their What name prison the channel was it, bro? You know this dude? What is that? Wes Watson. Oh, Wes, Wes Watson? Watson? What's up with that dude? That's a big buff dude or something, yeah. right? And he's like... He, All air, though, or what? I don't I don't know, bro. Creed team, maybe? I don't know. Creed team. <laughs> maybe even if it's not. I'll blow up. I'll blow up. I don't know, dog. I seen a buff ass dude like that one time trying to play basketball. That's why they don't pump no fear here, man. Cause he couldn't make a basket. He couldn't even move. He probably can't even wipe your ass. How can you like? You're too yeah. buff. You can't like your your ligaments ain't gonna. Leg yeah. They're not ligaments. gonna stand, homie. It's yeah. like too much muscle. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. I, I leave here as like ten buff dudes out front. Oh, what do you mean, motherfucker? Huh? Venice Beach is right here somewhere, huh? They walk over. Not here, okay, bro. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, a little okay. further down that Even way. If they are, I'm you're good right here, okay, bro. Yeah. It's the only buff dude you got to worry about right here is a. Uh, Casey. Oh, none Casey? of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, look at look at look at Preston. Preston just got up, yeah, you know, with his done. hot blue shorts on, <laughs> teal teal shorts. You got to be a real man to wear teal shorts. Mm, he's dog. vegan. But I wrote my homeboy and told him what dude said, and he wrote back at me his side of the story. And uh, was Phallus, he used his first and last name and said some bad shit about him. And my homeboy happened to be fighting a case that time. He caught an in-house term. You know what I'm saying? For a battery. And he was going to court. And the cops are like, we heard the prison channel, what he said about you. And made him look bad while he's going to court even. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I threw him out there, dog. It's a so, and since I touched base with him again, I would start sending him packages. And then I just haven't heard from him. Why would he not write back with the dude who's sending him the packages? You know what I mean? So, I feel like something might be wrong. Yeah. So, in other words, you're retracting on maybe Wes Watson was right? No, negative. Never that. Oh, okay, that. okay. I'm saying my homeboy, I sent him packages once every 90 days. He's not written me back in like eight months. I've not heard from him. And why would you not write home around. to the dude to send in your packages if nothing else? Even if you don't want to write, oh, you're so, at least gonna oh. write home say, send that package, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, bro. Health so check. I, yeah, so you're worried about his health. I'm worried about his health. We yeah. were talking about COVID and they're Absolutely. never gone, boys. Sorry like, about I'm that, worried dog. about my dog. Oh, no, that's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Um, 
Yeah, hopefully he's okay, bro. You know what I mean? And usually, you know, bro, one thing about me since I've been out, uh, I, I touch a lot of my homies with money and just yes. a lot of different shit. Mm -hmm. Because I know how it is. And to be honest, dog, oh, none of man. these, none of these, oh, well, one of them, shout out to my boy Droops. Droops. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, but rather than him, everyone else, they ain't ever sent me motherfucking shit, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, you know, I just try to like, I just try to put in the universe what I would like back. And what, I, what I'd like back is just, you know, just... You know, just just love, bro. You know what I mean? Because you'll never. I, I hopefully knock on wood uh, that go, I wouldn't. I wouldn't knock on wood that I will never be in a position that I have to rely on a favor back. Like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's not my intent. You know what I mean? My intent is just to 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 change the culture and to, to help out the fellas yes, that are. When I'm doing good, bro. Like you know, dog. Like I know how it is to to live off twenty dollars a month, bro. Oh man. And it, I mean, if you can live off twenty dollars a month, dog, I've done it mm -hmm. plenty of times, bro. You know what I mean? And you just buy like six cases of soups. You know what I mean? And you don't take no showers. You know? No, now they take restitution. <laughs> I know. Forget that hygiene. When I went to pay the first time, homeboy's like, you could always bum a shot of coffee. You always ask for soup. You can't ever ask for a shot of deodorant or a shot of toothpaste. Get that stuff taken care of first. I'm like, I wasn't using that shit on the street, so. You know what I'm saying? You're a real white boy, though. Real white boy. I'm just yeah. waiting for that shower ducket to come through. Shower ducket, damn. <laughs> You're a bad celly, dog. Smelling no, no. that ass no, all day bath. long. Bird bath. Bird, bird bath. bath, yeah. Oh, he's dirty, too. Can't, he, hey, people. Yeah, in, uh, two dirty fools, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? It's it, all good, it. dog. Yeah, like yeah. dirt dirt plus dirt equals filthy, dog. <laughs> know what I mean? As long as the cell is clean, though. Yeah. As as well, clean. I don't know. I doubt how the cell is clean. Though? I know. How can it be? <laughs> how, yeah, how can it clean? Because every, everything, everything you touch is you're dirty, so yeah. you're fucking. Anyways, bro, look at us go, dog. Wait, you know let's mean? go back to his Picking story. Yeah, let's get back. story. Wait, Casey's like, what the fuck? I mean, he's just like. Shout out to the story. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Shout out to the story. Okay, shout out to the story, dog. Get back to the story. Yeah, let's get back, back to the story, story. baby. <laughs> yeah. But uh, go ahead, brother. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, how were you raised, dog? Let's get into your story. Mm. So for my my audience, bro, your audience knows who you are, bro. Mm -hmm. But let's, you know what I mean? You're a solid wood from Bakersfield. Yes. And you represent, you represent it right, correct? To the fullest. To the fullest. Yes. Now, what sent you on this journey, bro, to be the man, the solid wood that you are now, bro? Hmm. Prison, I'd say, right? I mean, did you have a, how was your family, bro? Like, what fucking put you on drugs and wanted to go to prison and end up with all these prison tattoos, bro? You, I mean, you, you weren't raised in a, were you raised in a, a church home? Like, what no, went no, wrong, no. bro? Okay, my mom and dad split when I was two. My mom has 10 brothers and sisters, so I was bounced around between them. 10 brothers and 10 sisters? 10 brothers and sisters. Don't act so surprised. No. I know how the, I don't want to be racist, but as how the Hispanics get down. <laughs> But maybe I should be saying that the wrong place, my bad. No, so. no, you're good, bro. No, you're good, bro. But it's it's Cause it's Catholic, it's, it's, it's cause it's Catholic. No, my no, grandma's no, Catholic. No, peep game, bro. When when I when I hear about someone that has when I hear about someone that has ten brothers and sisters, bro, I'm just like, bro, that is a fucking powerful tribe right there. Depends on how you're raised, if not raised right. Yeah. Be, you know what I'm saying? They're in foster homes and split up and just all bad. Yeah, so I mean, I would them. love to have 10 brothers and oh, sisters. Oh, that's a baseball dog. team. Yeah, no, dog, but yeah, absolutely, bro. And I and I get it that the family dynamics can be fucked up, but like, how was it being, you know, raised like that, bro? It was fucked up, you know? My, my dad didn't give a shit about me because he, after my mom and him got divorced, he married this woman that did not like my mom or me, so he couldn't come around. I didn't see my dad ever. And then my mom split and got with some other dude and had some kids, so I'm just, you know, bounced around to my aunts and uncles who already had their own kids. So I'm seeing my cousins with their mom and dads and shit. Yeah. <coughs> but it's nothing, uh, really. Who who is? So you said your pops just left you hanging. Yes. Was your was your were you solid with your moms? No. Who? That's that's and so who were you close with in your family? Mm, depends on who I was living with. I said ten brothers and sisters. I might be at my. And Annette, rest in peace, living with her. I'd be close. They'd accept me in, even though they had their own kids. I'd share a room with my cousin. And maybe I'd get burned out every six months, go over here for a while, and then go over here and bounce around. I wouldn't say I was close to any one person. Who gave you love, bro? I mean, everybody tried to. I don't know, see did they, like that. Did they the try to give you love? They tried to give me love. But it wasn't the love. I want love for my mom and dad, not my aunt and uncle. So they gave me aunt and uncle love. But is that enough? And, and well, I hear it, bro. I hear it. You know what? I know I get it, bro. You know, my aunt sent me a, um, a text message today, and she said, and she sent me an old. My aunt sent me today 
a picture of an old card that I sent her before I was getting under the pen uh, last time I was out. And she says, she says, mijo, look at what I found. The card that you sent me last time you were gonna get out a few days. She sent that to me today. And she goes, you know what? I've always loved you like a son, you know? And I love my aunt, bro, you know what I mean? And, and, and I get it, bro. It's not the same thing coming from the people that brought you into this world, dog. Right. You know, it's it's not the same love. Like it feels good. It's it's love, dog. But it's not the it's not the same love, bro. Had I been locked in with just one, it could have been maybe. If I had one man, and uncle would take my mom and dad's place and raise me all the way through. But it just bounced around through. How were you locked. raised? Were you raised in poverty? I mean, didn't really know. Didn't really have. Didn't give me nothing. If they had stuff, I could tell a really fucked up story that I just shared with her the other day. You want to hear a kind of fucked up story? Yeah. So my uncle one day, I was living with my aunt, uncle, and he says, "Hey, man." I was in fifth grade. You want a motorcycle? And they lived out in the country. I was like, yeah. He said, let's go get you a motorcycle. So we went drove, driving around, looked in the paper, checked out a couple that were for sale, test drive this one, looked at three different motorcycles. And he's like, all right, come on, sleep. We started driving back to his house. And he's like, listen, we get back home, call your mom, tell your mom to start giving us child support, and maybe we'll give you a motorcycle. What? Yeah, so it's like, they would, they would fuck me like that. <sighs> and I'd have no shit. I would, my shit would get lost in the mix. So it was kind of fucked up. But if that's all you really know, you know what I'm saying, just roll with it. Who made you that? What? So, when we, uh, raised as kids, we all re, we always remember a certain meal that we love to have. Who gave you your favorite meal, and what was it? Mm, I can't say I have a favorite meal, man. Honestly, no, there wasn't any of your aunts or anyone that you were raised that said, "Hey, you know, when they made the spaghetti, this was the best ragu spaghetti I've ever had in my fucking life." Like nothing, mm. bro. Mm. What, what 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 is your ha- raised on hamburger helper, huh, boy? Hamburger helper, yeah. Shout out to Hamburger Helper, bro. <laughs> He's been raising kids. That, I don't know who Mr. Hamburger Helper is. No, I know who he is. I see him on the box. But, ah, bro, that hurts, bro. That's pain. Mm. That hurts you, huh? I used to. It used to. How'd you get over that pain? Hmm. I just have a theory. Man, it's just kind of hard to explain, bro, how I got over it. Just, I guess, with time, just when I felt like, I felt like one day I became the hunter instead of the hunted. And that's when everything changed. One day I woke up and I said, I'm not scared of nobody. They need to be scared of me. And I started kicking up some dust. I started doing what the fuck I wanted to do. So I, I had a lot of PTSD and fear. Like some fucked up shit happened to me. So I was like, was real skittish. As well as being passed around. And one day that changed. Yeah. Were you abused? I mean, I was molested at five years old. You were molested as five years old from a family member? No, from some guy at a park. And he, what's cool, the coolest part of the story is he got... Stabbed up real bad in county jail. Cause it's probably like early 90s. They didn't really have PC and all that shit then. So they probably just threw him in there. So he got stabbed up real bad. And he went to court. They told my mom that. That, that dude's in the hospital. He got fucked up real bad. And then his lawyer's all, you didn't have to tell her that. My mom's all, yeah, I'm glad I know, you know. So he got fucked up real bad. There's some creep, some weirdo motherfucker. I was playing on the park. You know, swimming pool right there with the public bathroom. My mom took right off me for just a second. So he yanked me in the bathroom and didn't take long. Damn, bro. I don't like hearing that shit, dog. Yeah. I don't like hearing that shit. You're five years old? Yes. You remember that shit like it was yesterday? Yesterday. Haunts you to this day? Not anymore, because like I said, one day I just felt like I'm the hunter, not the hunter no more. It used to scare me real bad. I couldn't go into a bathroom. When I was like, I'm just going to keep it 100, man. When I was fucking seventh grade, I would literally, I'd rather piss my pants than go into a public bathroom, especially the supermarket. Because, you know, how, how, where's the bathroom at the supermarket? You, you go back there by the, the, the fucking butcher, the meat. And it's back there, it's all dark, and you gotta go down that way or down that way, and it's all crazy. Some little crazy looking bathroom tucked in the cut. I'm not going back there. Are you fucking kidding me? Because that's where it all went down, you know what I'm saying? I would just fuck no, bro. But then one day I'm hanging out in bathrooms. Like, I wish a motherfucker would. That's when it changed for me. Yeah, trip. Damn, bro. That's tough, doggy. That's tough, brother. Sorry you went through that, bro. No, it's all good. It makes people, you know, I'm grateful for it, so. You know what, dog? It does, bro. Unfortunately, it does, bro. And it, it creates it creates warriors, it creates maniacs, it creates dudes mm. that are just fucking killer instinct. I have a theory on the killer instinct. That's what it, it creates a killer instinct, man. Because I've been in, in jail and prison, and they say, "Go book this dude, go do this dude, and go do it." And the dude who's riding with me is all tripped out. It's not swinging, it's not doing nothing. I'm like, "What are you doing? What's wrong with you?" I just realize not everyone's able to just perpetrate violence on others, no matter what they look like. Some people actually have a problem with that. Actually, like, punches somebody hardcore in the face hard as they can, jumping them, stabbing them, slicing them. It's not for everybody. No matter what they look like. They can look hardcore as fuck and comes down to it. I've seen dudes like, I'm not going to slice that dude on his face with a razor. What do you mean? 
crazy, you know? It takes that killer instinct, if you, you know, if you know, you know type shit. Do you, uh, I mean, do you channel past circumstances when you're in a situation like that? Mm, I don't think so. No. Maybe on a subconscious level. Subconscious level. Perhaps. How is it being a wood in the, in the uh, prison system? It's cool. I was going to, as far as the South Side is concerned, now we're allies, that, that kind of touches home in the pen. In county jail, not so much. Like, you know, it's hard on the white boys in L.A. County, I've heard. That's why I hats off to any white boys from L.A. County, because I know they got it rough in there. Back in the day, it was. Yeah, yeah, not so much anymore, huh? Nah. But I'm going to tell you like this, though, dog. It was bad for the weak white boys. Oh, right, right, right. If you're about it and they could recognize you, stand on your... But if you were about right. that shit, I'm going to tell you like this. In 1995, dog, I was in a fucking prison, right? In 1995... The end of 1995, the, the beginning of 1996, bro... Um. I was, I was the first time in there, 18 years old. And um, I'll say it like this. All blacks got the green light from the homies in the entire L.A. County Jail facility. If you're in fucking uh, any part of uh, Wayside, Old County Jail in downtown L.A., bro, something happened where I guess they, I don't know the ins and outs of it. You know what I mean? I was just a soldier on the line, a young soldier on the line, dog. And anyways, I ended up in a riot. I, I, I talked about this with my homeboy Pep right here that was on the podcast because I was in the same dorm with him. And he actually had the dorm, my homeboy Pep. But um, I was in there with a bunch of white boys, bro. You know, there was a bunch of white boys in there with us, right? And these dudes were about that motherfucking life, like some San Fernando white boys, dog. Like they were just fucking savages. And, and, and one thing about them dudes is when the riot popped off, when I looked from right to left, bro, there was nothing but them skinhead white boys with me, bro. You know what I mean? Because they were about that life. They had something to prove, and they wanted to let the motherfuckers know that they ain't to be fucked with, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And they were savages, dog. You know what I mean? And anyways, long story short, we ended up all ho hogtied. We all ended up hogtied on the other side of the fence, and they were picking us up like suitcases, dog. They had mm -hmm. these fucking, we were hogtied with these fucking, uh, 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 the, the zip ties. Thank you, canine. With the zip ties, bro, and I and and I looked from side to side of me, and it was all the white boys, dog. Mm. And I was just I was a young dude, and I was about it, you know. what I mean, and I wanted I wanted all the smoke, dog. Mm. I wanted I wanted my I wanted my respect, dog. I wanted my yeah. stripes, dog. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, I wanted to earn everything, dog, that that was possibly for me to uh, to get in those situations, dog. I never wanted to be looked at as a fucking punk, dog. You know what I mean? But in that riot right there, then white boys were fucking savages, dog. And they got the utmost respect from the homies, dog. You know what I mean? Right. So it just takes a different, it depends on the white boy that was in mm. the county jail at that time, bro. There's some solid white dudes coming out of LA, bro. 100%, dog. Well, For they real. always say, dog, if you, like back in the day, bro, like, so if, so, so if the homies would hit a yard, bro, and then they asked you, they said, hey, my G, hey, Lucky, what county jail you come from? You know what I mean? And you'd be like, L.A. County Jail, dog. And they'd be like, well, you fucking know better, motherfucker. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? You did what, homie? No, dog. Like, so anyone that came out of L.A. County Jail, bro, you fucking learned everything you needed to learn of how to fucking move in that type of environment in that fucking, those fucking L.A. County facilities, dog. So when you hit the big house, the penitentiaries and whatnot, dog, mm -hmm. you had no fucking excuse. So when it came to the homies from L.A. County, they said, nah, fuck that, dog. You fucking know better, dog. And, and they held motherfuckers to a higher standard, yeah, sort of speaking. Some other dudes from other areas may not want to hear that, dog, but that's how it was with us, mm -hmm. dog, amongst the, the, the L.A. Ronfla or whatever, however you want to say it, dog. I can see and, that. And so the white boys, bro, they rode with us, dog. Yeah. You know, they rode with us in the L.A. County Jail, dog. And... Um, they, you know what I mean? A majority of them were solid, bro. Mm -hmm. And some of them, dog, they, they had problems, bro. You know what I mean? But they had problems for one reason, and that's because they potentially might have not been solid. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. But, uh, yeah, just speaking on that, dog, I'll, I'll yes, share yes. a little insight, Yeah, dog. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Same yeah. here, though. Uh, county jail had a lot of problems, and especially at first start going. First time or two, when I did, like, a long, long little stretch, five months, it's like, damn, this was like, I thought we were allies. We're fighting them every damn day. It'd be like, this issue is to the point, give me a damn ulcer. We're so outnumbered. It'd be this issue. It gets squashed. I'm like, okay, cool. Something else pop up. Like, damn. Something else pop up. Damn. So a lot of shit, but got me prepared for the pan, I guess you could say, right? Yeah, I mean, how is it being? I, one thing about one thing about the woods, 
Um, I mean, I've, I bumped into a lot of different dudes, bro. I bumped into the, like, I was the one time when they were on the line, the Nazi lowriders, bro. Mm -hmm. I was in Chino State Prison, bro. And I said, who the fuck are these white boys, bro, that are, have their fucking, their, 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 their state prison clothes creased up like fucking homies and shit. They got their fucking shit. Ch I mean, bro, they, the way they moved was kind of like a, like a homie almost, but these are all like white boy gangsters and shit, dog. Straight up. Yeah. And so the, and I'm talking about the Nazi lowriders, dog. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and the, and I remember the first time I was in, I was in Chino Central. I was on Cyprus. Cyprus, uh, the Cyprus has the open cells and the open thetas, and it goes up four levels. You can easily get thrown off on that shit. I was just like, oh shit, this shit is real. Damn. This is just like the movies. But anyways, I, we go to the fucking chow hall. We're eating and shit, and all of a sudden, we see a fucking group of white boys, bro, and they got some other white dude, and I remember that dude had his hand on his fucking forehead, bro, and he was fucking whacking the fuck at him. The hooters saying, get down, get down. This dude's just whacking him, whacking him, whacking him. I can tell you another story about a white boy. There was a white, I was in Calipat Foyard, bro, and there was a punk ass fucking CO dog and he was giving us all shit while we were locked down he was like kid in the fucking gate like hey take that sheet down bop 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 whoa 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 this and that you know what I mean and we all wanted to get him bro mm -hmm. we all we were like man fuck this fucking CO dog everybody wanted to get him dog and it took the white boys to get him bro you know what I mean well, I don't know how one of the white boys came out on a shower thing bro he came out on, because we were locked down because we were going at it with the Huras and shit because they killed a homie from Florence and shit. The, the tower shot the dude in the fucking head and shit, dog. And, and one of the white boys got out, and as soon as he got out, bro, I don't know how he came out as cuffs because he usually got a cuff up to get to the shower, dog. But he, he came out, bro, and he grabbed that fucking seal by the forehead, which was a white dude too, you know what I mean? And he he grabbed that dude and he fucking sliced the fucking shit out of his fucking throat. And that fool fucking ran out of the fucking block screaming. And the whole fucking, it's like a fucking zoo, dog. The whole fucking block fucking erupted. Ah, I love that shit. Boo, motherfucker, what fool? Like, you know what I mean? It was just fucking crazy, dog. You know what I mean? And Love that shit, huh? You know, so it, it, it's a testament. What I'm trying to say, dog, is it doesn't matter, like, what color you are, bro. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you can meet that dude. Yes. If you black, white, Mexican, Southside, Asian, whatever the fuck, there's those dudes in all fucking colors and oh, shit, yeah. dog. They're out there. Always someone tougher, too, huh? Absolutely, bro. Always someone tougher. Absolutely. I mean, how many times have you gone to the pen, bro? And, and she, you know, what do we do, bro? We tell war stories. Mm -hmm. We tell, we share our stories, you know what I mean? And I don't know how many dudes I bumped into. I said, damn, dog, my life ain't shit, dog. Mm -hmm. You know, because we, we go in there and, and it's kind of like a badge of honor almost to, to share how shitty your story is. Oh, yeah. whoever's, wh whoever's got the shittiest story, you know what I mean? <laughs> whoever's got the shittiest story, is the like the dude that's been through the most. Mm -hmm. And so if you've got the been through the most, then you're just like, you're that dude, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck, dog, you heard about this homie right here? I mean, is it like that with the white boys too? Yeah, definitely. Or whoever could tell the story better. Or they like to hear about who, I think it's whoever knows the most people. Or the most people, the most yank. That's what they want to hear about. That too, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dudes like fucking like. The big homies, the guys who come in there that know somebody. Yeah. Know somebody who knows somebody. Or know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I hate that, bro. The low key, dog. Those, to me, dog, those are kind of like the worst the dudes. The name droppers. The name droppers, bro. Mm -hmm. When dudes like, oh, I, yeah, I was over here with this person, oh, yeah, this, this person, dude, blah, yeah. blah, 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 whoop, whoop, this and that. And so it, it's kind of like they're giving you a heads up, dog, to be like, all right, I got to watch out with this dude. Mm. You never know, but. I see a lot of those dudes fall too, bro. Mm -hmm. The name droppers, bro. Yeah, definitely, man. You know? And my thing always in the penitentiary was to get out of the penitentiary. Yeah. Not to spend the rest of my life in the penitentiary. My game was the street game, bro. You know what I mean? I, was all, I, I earned my name on the streets. Now, when I went to the prison, I did what I had to do. But at the same time, it wasn't... I, didn't, I, I wasn't trying to put in the most work in prison, bro, because... That wasn't my game, and you, if you, if you, uh, it seemed like sometimes dudes that weren't doing a lot on the streets, bro, they come to prison and they have big shit to prove, bro. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And I get it, bro. I get it, dog. But that wasn't that wasn't my game. Like I handled my business. I was active. I was there. I spoke up on shit. I didn't take shit from nothing, dog. But my 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 earning my stripes was was uh uh how do you say it, bro? Like I did 
what I needed to do in there, and that was it. Because the objective trying is trying to get to, the fuck out. To get the fuck out and get back to the party, baby. Okay, you know let what me I mean? ask you this one then. Let me ask you this one. Huh? Let me ask. This might be. It's a good situation. So when you're at Wasco reception, if you're just doing reception time, they're gonna release you in R and R. Since the reception pin, they released the actives with the PCs. Oh, do they do that now? Yes. Uh -huh. even, okay. even when I was doing time, and I've been out for a few years now. Yeah. After you're dressed out, you're damn near ready to go. We got 30 minutes left. Who's going to be that dude to take off on him? I'm not me, you. You're going to take off on him, go back in, get buzzed, do, go ahead and do another year, and then whether they let you out, you do it again? Or I mean, if I was in a situation like that, dog, and I'll be 1,000% with you, dog, I would have tunnel vision, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, would, I would break the rear view mirrors off my car, dog. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, I'm going out this motherfucking door. That's what I did. Dog. I do it a couple of times. A fuck, it's a shocker. First couple times, first time you see it though. I've like, never what? been in that situation though, bro. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, I've never yeah. been in that situation, and thank God that I, I haven't had to be in that situation mm. because then again, you never know, bro. I can tell you right now what I would do as as this dude that I am in this point in my life, bro. Mm. But back then, I potentially could have maybe fucked something up, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? But yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, if you're an R and R dog and you're getting parole, dog, you're your dress outs already, and you got your dress outs on already, dog. It's like, <laughs> oh, homie, this <laughs> your game money. These shit. prison <laughs> politics don't matter no more. Oh, I gotta go. I'm hungry. I want Jack in the Box, bitch. Is that really you know what, what you're thinking about? Jack huh? in the Box. Is that what you're thinking about, Jack no, in the Box? No, you know, I used to always tell Jack in the Box stories, dog. You know what I mean? Because I was just like, you know, what I mean, I mean, it was just like, you know, when you're doped up and shit like that, you got your little spots. You know what I mean? You, you know, I'm uh, 53 in York. I get my Thorthas, dog. You know what I mean? Bop, 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 whoop, 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 this, that. You know what I mean? And, and and I, you know, but yeah, I think the go-to is always Jack in the Crack. I mean, at least it was in my neighborhood for me, dog, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. I don't know, dog. But yeah, dog, it's, 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 the struggle is, the struggle is real on that side of the defense. I mean, let's get back to your story, bro. You uh -huh. know what I mean? So you, you had your, you had, you were raised by aunts and uncles and all these people. You didn't really get the proper f love that you felt like you wanted because you wanted it from the people that brought you into this world, bro. I mean, how did you navigate through life through then? Like, what was your downfalls? What was the, the pluses, the minuses? Well, what's kind of cool is that actually later on in life, both my mom and dad ended up getting right. And so I ended up developing a relationship with them. Like with my dad, my dad has a lot of money. So when I, was, I mean, when you say a lot of money, how much money are we well, talking I mean, about? Well, he owned some property. He had a good job. He, can, he could afford to buy me a car and yeah. move me into an apartment for six months and buy me no, a shirt whenever. A couple that, bucks. Yeah, that's money. Bail me out of any kind of, you know what I'm saying, whatever. So Bail money is a lot of money. Bail money. Yeah. Bail money's, yeah. So he's able to, uh, I mean, I would always ask him stuff. Kept get, I kept getting in trouble. Hey, Dad, I wrecked my car. Hey, I put money in my books. He could never say no because a guilty had. You know? Yeah. Because he let me hang in for so long, and it kind of felt like he fucked me up. I mean, did you ever have a conversation with your pops and say, hey, Doc, what, what, I mean, what happened? I mean, did no. he ever break it down to you and say, hey, son, I'm sorry? He did say he was sorry, but I just didn't want him to feel guilty. You didn't want him to feel guilty? No. Mm. Why? I don't want to make no, hurt no one's feelings, make someone feel guilty. You know, you know he, it's like if you know, you know. He knows what he did. I knows what he did. It's, and I love you. It's all good. And I know why he did it, you know? So, yeah. And, and what was his reasons why he did it? He got married after him and my mom split up. And the new wife hated my mom, thought that he, he would come visit me. He'd be trying to get my mom. Like, you don't want to go see your son. You just want to go see his mom. So, no, you can't go see him. He's like, all right, let's stay with her. Then they split up, shit, years down the road, what, 10, 12 years later. And then he felt guilty, came move me in, because I'm living in kind of poverty with my mom. My brother had like, they took like a, a bunk bed and sawed it in half, split it to make it two separates in his auditorium, you know saying? Yeah. Hey, you know that? One of these lights on a lawnmower, you know me, had that type of shit. <laughs> so my dad saw that and said, I can get this fool out of here. So that's what happened there, man. But he would always bail me out, out of guilt. I kind of felt bad. I mean, is you know that's a good guilt to have when you're when you're on the opposite end of it and you're mm -hmm. fucking fighting cases and shit. It's yeah. like motherfucker, I wouldn't be in this situation yeah, yeah. if it wasn't for your punk yeah. ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, bitch, pay the bail money. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? exactly. Get me shit. out of here. Shit. It's only fifty thousand dollars. Ten percent. Five G's. Ten percent. Put the house up. I'll, hey, I'll be I'll be in court. Put the house up. Put the house up. I'll be in court. I promise. I skin it. Skin it! Skin it, bro! Skin it, Skinner! You owed 123 to the house, sir. Yes, I yes, I do, yes. Uh, man. I was in the game module uh, in uh, 97, and we were, I was on uh, um, 3400 uh, 
Abel Road, Baker Road. I was on Abel Road. They called it the Assassin Road. And right above us was the was the woods, bro. Mm. You know and they what had mean? them segregated from you guys? Yeah, they had them segregated because it's gang module, bro. Oh, gotcha. You know what I mean? So it's gang module. So, yeah. And so above us was their gang module, which was all the fucking, like, uh, the, 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 like just the woods, the, 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 the high fucking, power, the high, high power. powerfuls, dog. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The dudes that just, they were wild animals, bro. They mm-hmm. were just like us, bro. But they were just a different skin complexion, dog. And some of us, you know, reflect each other's skin complexion, but it was just a different round flow, right? You know what I mean? I saw your DNA. Yeah, yeah. You see You're that? You're 51% Jewish. Yeah, bro. That's a trip. For my pops, bro. I would never thunk. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Mm. Yeah, my pops is fucking, my pops is a fucking Jew, dog. And my mom's Mexican. Did you know that? Yeah, 100%. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 100%, dog. Uh-huh. I mean, I've been shitting on that all my life and shit, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like shitting on it when you when you when you're raised in like a, a Mexican uh the my Mexican side of the family, the culture would not are around homies that are all Mexican and shit, dog. They're all going to oh. they're all going to remind you, bro. Oh, really? Oh, that works, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%, dog. Okay. Like Mexicans, dog, you can never be Mexican enough around a real Mexican, dog, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it just it is what it is, dog, you know what I mean? But it, it was good for me, bro, because it it built me into the man that that I am now, dog. I have thick skin. I can I can look at things in a in a perspective that maybe a narrow minded person that thought he was just so indigenous or so Mexican or or so Jewish. Or, you know, what I mean, I'll go both sides. They couldn't see things. So I see. I I, I believe that I see things from an uh, an even playing field, bro. Mm-hmm. Even though sometimes I may stick on certain things. Like we had a conversation about abortion. I'm just like, dog. I think a female should be in charge of that shit, dog. She's the one you know, getting aborted or she's the one that has to have the baby or, you know what I mean? And I got a lot of the fellas shitting on me about that, but it's okay, dog. You know what I mean? That's just, you know, your opinion. That's just my, that's just my opinion. And, and, and check it out. We have opinions, but they're not always like, right, bro. No, it it can be potentially how I'm feeling right now. And they change. And sometimes it can change as you grow as a man, bro. And that's, that's growth, bro. And just like vice versa, it could potentially change for you, bro. Cause all of a sudden, who knows you were talking all this shit to lucky on through the comments. And now you have this baby that's coming out by potentially accident or whatever you want to say, this is a touchy subject. I should leave it alone. I really should, dog. You know what I mean? And But maybe now you're fucking entertaining a different thought than what you were standing on. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. now you're in a situation, right, bro. Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? You never know. That you, you're in a situation that you got the side chick pregnant, and now, you know what I mean? Like, what you going to do, bitch? Yeah. You know what I mean? You know? <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, anyways, bro, uh, there's a lot of touchy subjects we touch on right here, and I don't always get them right, dog. But, you know, hey, neither does the other side either, bro. Mm-hmm. And this is the point of having these conversations, you know. So, uh, you you ended up fucking up, bro. And what what was your downfall in life, bro? Growing up, you know, besides your parents not being there, being r- raised around. I mean, what did you end up getting to that 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 you ended up with all these prison tattoos and in prison and yeah, yeah. I mean, got into meth very very young, sixteen, like I said. And just just going back to my dad a little bit because it ties in. I was living with him, then he hooked up with this other chick, and she had a son that was on drugs real bad too, and they owned property, so they moved us into a house, him and I, and he's in Oildale, right next to a couple of drug connections, so we just start in that environment. That's when I started doing dope. They'd pay us dope to walk to our yard to sell in the alley. So this moved us right into Oildale, in the heart of all the drugs, and so yeah. I mean, what, what would dope, what would dope, like, how would it make you feel? Would it make you, would it empower you as a dude that was, like, kicked and put down through your life, so to speak, oh, right? right? Did it make you feel like, did it, did, was it a, uh, was, it, was it a release or a getaway from how you wanted an to feel? An escape. It was an escape. Thank an escape. you, brother. Mm-hmm. It was an escape, huh? Right. And it give you a false sense of just confidence or, you know, shit. Playing guitar, it seems like I play a lot better when I was high. I don't know if I could or not, but it sure seemed like it. You do things better, you think things are better, and you just, I don't know. I know I can fuck like a motherfucker Like when a I was maniac. High. Yeah, dog. Like, I was a motherfucking, just a machine, dog. Mm-hmm. A fucking machine, dog. Even when I wasn't fucking, my fucking, my, my, my hips were still pumping, bro. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's like, bro, what are you fucking? I said, I'm fucking this air right now, yeah, bitch. Yeah, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I was just like, even when I stopped fucking, I couldn't stop moving like I was fucking, dog. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm walking to the liquor store down the street, and it looks like I'm fucking walking all the way down there, dog. You know like, what are you doing, fool? And I said, I'm gonna get a beer, dog. What's up, homie? And they're like, bro, you look like you need something more than a beer, dog. You need some pussy. And I said, I just had that. Um, Trip me out. I was with a cook one time. He was making it. He told me he was gonna add some shit and pH it just right. Get him fucking. That's how he worded it. Because I'm gonna get him fucking. 
add some stuff to it, pH and just try it. It's like, you want some? I know, no thank you, but I'll leave this house real quick. Why do all the white boys make the best dope, bro? I don't know, man. You know what I mean? You guys are like scientists, dog. You know what I mean? Like fucking, it's the German side of white boys. They're like, oh, I gotta get the fucking, you know what I mean? I don't know, dog, you know what I mean? Like the white boys make the best dope because these motherfuckers are like smart, dog, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you don't ever hear about Mexicans making dope. You hear about Actually, the- Actually, I think so. Yeah, I think you guys took that from us too. What else did we take from you, sir? You said two. (laughs) (laughs) What else did we take from you? All the besides besides your woman. (laughs) Hey, once in a while, man, fuck it. But yeah, dog. No, you like? Have you ever been with a Mexican broad? Yes. Yes. Hmm? Are you gonna get in trouble for saying that? No, no, no. Okay. I was just gonna word it differently, but you're gonna word it differently. Mm. The 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 yeah, I get it, bro. I mean, um, when it was so. When it comes to like doing time on the yard, I mean, well, well, how did you do your time, bro? Were you playing pinochle? Were pinochle. you drawing? Like, what, what was your thing doing time, bro? Pinochle, run around, uh, chase a sack, really. Gets you a lot of trouble, but we're You're, keeping it real right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, but chase a sack. You were chasing the sack? Mm-hmm. What did you, you wanted the, you wanted the carga, though, the heroin, yeah, right? But, but I would. I mean, I can cover. I had a lot of money a lot of times. And so, and if I didn't have money, well, thank, well, thank I was God known to your for pops, bro. It. Well, yeah, more than you know, because he passed away from asbestos cancer. Did he? Mesothemioma. So I would get that settlement while I was locked up. Legal mail. I would get legal mail and the check would be right there on the yard. How much would that be? I mean, 700, 1500, one time 17,000. Damn, bro. 20,000. Well, well first, first of all, RIP to your pops, bro. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Second of all, thank you, dad, mm. for all this dope money. Yeah, it looked out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And it drives me crazy that I, I had it back then. I'd love to have it now. I'm doing good. Yeah, where well, you're not Damn. fucking blowing it up. I know, shit. Yeah, the dope man Things and shit, like though. Things now, yeah. I mean, fucking... In prison, bro, like fucking dope is expensive, bro. Dude. Like a hundred dollars for a little ass. Like, what the fuck is this, dog? You know for what I mean? And, well, and so you were just, you were fucking lit the fuck up in there getting them settlement checks. Yep. Lo- not lit. I'd say loaded. 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 Yeah. loaded. Lit is Did the other thing. Did you see that thing. splinter? No, but I heard it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. And so would you, would you be slamming it in there? Yeah, with some old dirty rigs. It's just crazy. Come they slide under your cell door, huh? One of the homeboys. No numbers on it no more. Who knows when, where, why? Yeah, bro. Wrong with it. Those binkies? Oh, I hate those. The binkies? The binkies? Oh, man, I hate those. I've oh. never slammed in my life, bro. Oh, but you know. No, you I know because I, was, I, w- I would see all these dudes in line fucking with blood still on the fucking needle, oh, dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. The binkies and shit, dog, and slamming after each other, dog. And as a kid, I always felt like if I had to, because st- I was in some situations with uh, uh, Boopsy from Hazard. I was in these these uh, these old with these old school dudes when I was younger, dog. In these uh, apartments in my neighborhood, bro. Uh, Boopsy from Hazards, Animal from Hazards, brother and shit. And when I and I'd go with my homeboy Shorty to these fucking uh, these apartments and shit, dog, because he was fucking with that shit. And I would just go with them because I'd hold the strap, dog, because we were in the dog town fucking uh, alleys and shit, dog. So I go with him to get the get his back. And plus, he was my boy at the time, dog. You know what I mean? And and I go into these fucking apartments and shit, dog, and it would be like, I mean, this was the 90s, and it would feel like I was fucking, I took a fucking uh, 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 back to the future trip into the like 60s, the 70s, dog. These had tra- transistor radios, old ass shit, veteranas in there, dog, and, every, and they would be like, hey, homito, you know what I mean? Whatever you want, doggy, we got you, bop, 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 whoa, 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 you know what I mean? And I was just like, nah, dog, I'm good, and they would all be fucking tying oh, up, yeah. fixing, bro, mm-hmm. and, and I always felt like if I had to stick a needle in my arm, dog, I would be doing too much, brother. Mm-hmm. You Definitely, know? And so that, that I think we talked about PTSD, dog, and I think right there it traumatized me to see these dudes in that Uh-oh. shit and doing right. that. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I could, all, I could, I always felt like I couldn't wait to get the fuck out of those fucking places, bro. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to get with the homies, dog. We were smoking frios. We were, and I was smoking the scante off the foil, dog, chasing the dragon, dog, with the P two P dope, dog. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That biker dope and shit, dog. That peanut butter, that lemon drop, that fucking white rock, homie. You know what I mean? All that shit, dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just getting fucking feeling my fucking that the hair on my neck just raise up you know what i mean and i want to rob i want to fuck i want to fucking gang bang dog you know what i mean that was my thrill that was my life dog are we smoking the pee dogs whatever the fuck we smoking the crack with the with the can and we fucking put the holes in it with the ashes, ashes on it dog ashes. you know what i mean we're smoking crack out that shit dog like i mean that's that's what I, you know what i mean that's what i like dog you know what i mean you liked you liked that's what i liked light yeah but you know, um, it, 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 that whole lifestyle, bro, 
is 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 not good, bro. Hell no, bro. Nightmare. It's not good, dog. Take it out. Take it down. I mean, I don't. I don't condone. We wouldn't that. be right here. We wouldn't be right here if we were using like that. You know, by the grace of God, if you believe in God, bro, is the only reason why we're right here, bro. Okay, of course I do. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Because there's a lot of brothers on your side and my side, bro, that are not here, bro. Man. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I, I believe. Uh, can I get some ice in this real quick, dog? Yeah. Uh, I, I, believe, I believe when we are uh, brought into this world, dog, um, that we have, uh, we have a map quest. Uh, mm -hmm. already printed out for us. And some people, it's just a fucking five-minute ride, dog. Oh, okay. And some people, it's 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 going to take a long time to get to that final destination. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you think everyone has a day, their day, their, their life's going to end already set when they're born? A day waiting for them, perhaps? I mean, uh, you've made it this far, bro. And what is your purpose on this world? Let me ask you that. I'd love to help people not make the same mistakes I have. What is the purpose of your, of? would you call it a podcast? I call it a channel, a YouTube a channel, channel. A YouTube channel. Yeah. I know I, I label it as a podcast, bro, because I think any person that's kind of like talking to the to the universe, talking to the, have followers, it's kind of like, you know. A podcast, yeah. It's kind of like a podcast, but I get it. Yours is more like a channel because it's just you. You're not interviewing people, dog. Mm -hmm. So what is your purpose in this life right now? You said it's helping people, huh? Right. I mean, I didn't realize that. My purpose was, like I said, I start off methanol detox. So I'm giving somebody what it looks like to be down five milligrams, down what's gonna feel like a 15 or 10. So showing people else I wanted to do, help them detox from methadone. Then when that was over, just start telling prison stories, just made people laugh, not really intending to help. And then people start telling me, damn, you helped me, bro, you helped me. And then a couple of times I got discouraged, like, man, I'm just gonna stop the channel. Give you guys a heads up, I'm just not feeling it. It's just, and then a lot of people said, no, bro, you don't realize how much it's helping me, man. You can't, dude. I get comments all the time, I talk to people all the time. Yeah, it's a community, bro. And they help me just as much. 100%. It's therapeutic. 100%. therapeutic. It's therapeutic. Have you ever gotten psych meds out here or have had any type of therapy, seen a psychiatrist? When I was a kid. Went to a little in, in treatment at home, a psych thing. Yeah. What were they giving you as a kid? I don't know. Antidepressants. Antidepressants. I tried to kill myself by taking all of them. And just by the grace of God, like you say, because my mom, I had taken all of them, the whole bottle, which would have killed me. And my mom came in like a half hour later and I was already starting to feel faded. And she said, did you take your medication? I said, yeah, I took all of them. She's like, what? Rushed me to the hospital, pumped my stomach, so. Yeah, man. Why do white people do that to their kids, bro? I don't know. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I got a home. No, nah, I'm not going to say it. I know somebody that that is my white brother. I love him to fucking, he's my family, bro. And he gives his kids, uh, they've given their kids, like, psych meds yeah, throughout the time. Good. Like, I have, a, I have a, I have a, my daughter Shyla is high strung like me, bro. You know what I mean? And check it out, bro. To this right now, bro, I take I take some shit to level out my serotonin and it's psych meds, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? It's Lexapro, it's 0.5 Lexapro helps me out. And sometimes when I wound up too tight, dog, I have a prescription of Xanax, dog. Mm. You know what I mean? To just fucking shut Lucky down, dog. Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? Mm. And you know what, bro? That's the best thing that's ever happened in my motherfucking life mm. as a grown man, bro. To be able to feel like once one finally in my life, bro that I can feel at peace, I can feel at ease, dog. I'm not battling myself inside, my thoughts, my this, my that, dog. So I'm transparent with that shit, dog. But when I was in the penitentiary, dog, I shitted on any dude that was in that line for peel call, dog. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, sooner because or that, later. That's what was taught to me, dog. Right, right. To, to, to shit on these dudes. Homie, fuck that dude. That dude's on fucking psych meds, dog. That fool's a fucking J-cat. That fool's a lame. Bop, bop, bop. That's weakness, homie. You can't handle the fucking cell living. You can't handle prison, so you're looking for a fucking escape, homie. You're a J-cat. You're weak, dog. You ain't gangster like me, homie. You know what I mean? But really, dog, maybe if I would have been in that line, dog, and got some fucking help, dog, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I would have made better choices earlier on opposed to finally later on in my life saying, you know what, dog? I can't live with myself, dog. I really felt like I couldn't live with myself, dog. Yeah, I wanted to kill myself before, bro. And I tried it one time, dog. You know what I mean? And like literally really tried it, bro. And I got saved by the grace of, of my neighbor, bro. You know what I mean? But anyways, bro, like we need to help ourselves, bro. Mm -hmm. And so like you smoking a lot of weed, that helps you? Oh, yeah. You slide me a couple of them Lexapro to let you know if they work for me or not. Okay. Yeah. I'm down low. For sure. It's not you really know, on the down low anymore, huh? In front of... Uh, 
5,000, 10,000, 20,000 people. Well, no, I'm no, just kidding. I'm joking around, man. No, I don't got a Lexapro. I got some uh, microdose of shrooms right here. Oh, no, I'm good. You're good? <laughs> I got to go to the great Don't take one. You'll take one? <laughs> Bye, huh? Don't take one. Yeah. Don't take one. Anyways, I got some, yeah, microdosing. Um, there you go, Kate. Okay. Pressing. You know what I mean? So, so what are the, so the views of the woods what are the in views? prison? Yeah, what are their views? What are their, what are their rules? What are their... I think it's just the same just across the board and the rules just for just to have our own little collective, our own little car and the rules would be no smoking, eating after the blacks. It's like the homies have the same rules, the Southsiders. And people but don't understand that. And there's that, no racism that, involved, has that, though. Has that changed now, though? Because I think in the prison system, like everyone's tattooing on each other. Really? Seven yeah. out from it. I think I don't I think if I went to prison tomorrow, I would not recognize it, bro. No, you wouldn't. I would bro. not freaking you know, recognize it, was, it. So when you went to prison, it was a fucking it was a it was a, a, a German shepherd, an aggressive German shepherd. And now when you go to prison, bro, it's a cuddly little fucking Labrador. Like huh? green light, hardcore on white crips. That was a huge and I was doing time. And now I heard they're all cool. They go in there. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I think politics are different. They're different because they got to change with the time, bro. And then a lot of the a lot of the big dogs got put back onto the main line, mm. and so that you know, in order to stay on that main line, bro, you got to like you know maintain a certain order that's not so strict, yeah. opposed to the early days. I do want to answer Casey's question though, not to cut you off. Sorry. No, go ahead. It. Go ahead. But um, I think as you go in there as wood, you're just gonna find comfort in other white dudes, especially white dudes from your hometown. And you just stick together and build each other up there for encouragement. I mean, just same thing that I think every other race is there doing. Just find and strengthen numbers. As far as the rules, you just, same rules that, you know. I wonder if the blacks have a rule, don't smoke after the whites or something when I was in there. I mean, I don't know because I would not smoke after them. But I think everybody has the same rules, I'm trying to say. Just I, keep to yourself, put the money in, in your car's pocket. Don't go buy some on the south side if I could bite off a white boy. I think, you know? I think, I think the, the, and some people may not want to hear this, bro. You know what I mean? And this is just my idea of what it is or what it was. I think it everything trickled down from the homies, you know what I mean? And the, the whites weren't too far from that, right? Because they were feeling a certain way already in regards to the way you move in the prison system and shit, dog. I think if you left it up to the blacks, bro, I think it would be, it would have been just a, a one big congregation, dog. Mm -hmm. And it would have been survival of the fittest, dog. Right, yep. Mm -hmm. It would have been survival of the fittest of, like, you as an individual, how bad are you? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And depending yes. on how bad you are is 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 how bad how good you'll have it in the system. Now, if you're a weakling, then you're going to be the weak link, and you're going to fucking catch every wrath of every bad situation you could potentially have in a prison environment. But thank God to for the weak people, structure... For the weak, the structure protects the weaklings. Definitely. You know what Definitely. I mean? Because not everybody is masculinely strong and I, I'm going to fucking tear I'm up. I'm saying no, even if they can verbally stick up for their self. Even if they are like that. Yeah. They might not be headstrong. No, but yeah. So it's a it's an insurance policy in prison, bro. Definitely. So what, I think what the homies implemented, and I just speak on this, bro. You can be, feel free to correct me on what you might feel, but I think they implemented a structure to protect uh, uh, individuals, bro, that may not be made because there's some dudes, bro. Let's talk about it, bro. Right, right, right. There's right. some dudes that are not made for the front line. There's some dudes that are going to. that killer instinct that about yeah, They're going to handle the money side. They're going to handle this. They're going to handle that. They're going to educate. They're going to bring different ideas to the mess side. You know what I mean? They're going to do different things, dog. And that's their power, bro. But if it was a, if it was a, like a, 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 a wild, wild west type of environment, Fend for yourself, dog. There'd be a lot of dudes that wouldn't be protected from the structure, the oh, pyramid. No. A lot thing. of dudes wouldn't make it. A lot, a lot of dudes of, would be doing. They'd come up short. Yeah. Hell yeah. So how, how come? How come the white boys like? So we have American Me. We have different little movies and shit. Uh, is there a, is there any movies, bro, that have been made for the white boys, bro? American History X. No. I hear about that one a lot. I haven't seen it. I'm not sure, man. I think uh, I think we like those movies too. You know, American Me. Stuff you know, it's not representing us. Still, we see prison in there. There has to be. I haven't really seen them. There's books on our big homies, and there's just verbal, the stories. Hey, the homeboy, this and that. That's what we like. Yeah, and and the, and so when it comes to the the pyramid structure of the woodpile, I mean, it's basically the Aryan. 
I mean, I don't want to. The ABs are at the top. I don't want you to get yourself in trouble or speak the on green anything. Mile. You <laughs> the green, green mile. mile. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boss. I got this little mouse right here. I'm about to stick this motherfucker in I mean, my the, ass, the, boss. The deep American history ones, probably all of those. Oh, brother, where are thou? Shot caller. No, that's a fucking good ass movie, and dog. They're pretty accurate. Shot caller, bro, was a fucking business white dude, bro. That fucking what happened? Something happened that he killed his family. Huh? He was drinking and driving. And what about Wolf of Wall Street? That's technically one. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't go to <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street. Go back to your question. Sorry. Wolf of Wall Street is an amazing movie. Probably one of my favorite movies, dog. You know what I mean? Because why? I'm a fucking drug addict, bro, and I like to have a good time. And when you see dudes high and just fucking making money and this and that, dog, I mean, to yeah. this day, I think I still do that, bro. And now I make money. I'm high, but not high off the shit that fucking will put me in prison. Not high that's making me commit crimes, but high off a good energy of life, dog. You know what I mean? High off, maybe sometimes I might fucking microdose something. Maybe sometimes I might have me a Jack and Coke, dog. You know what I mean? But there's different ways of living a good life. How do you live your good life now? Staying clean. That's a big part of it, for sure. But by smoking my weed, just doing my channel, talking to my people. I mean, that's a good question. It deserves a big answer. I don't really know if I have one. I take things day by day, man. Take them slow, and I just try to work on some of my weaknesses, quick to anger, just racing thoughts. I try to keep myself in check daily. I always lose shit constantly, man. I don't know. I'm surprised I'm not lost a slider. I'm always looking for something. Hey, looking for shit. I'm always losing something. So I'm trying to not. That's kind of like tweaker shit, though, dog. Like when you really. lose shit. You know how many? No, and I don't say this, and I'm trying to bash you, bro. But you know how many times I had this in my hand, and I was looking for this in my hand, bro. Oh, okay. High as fuck. Who the fuck got my lighter? Mm. Motherfuckers, when you motherfuckers got my fucking life, where the fuck is it at? You know what I mean? I'm digging through all kinds of shit, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh shit, this shit's in my fucking hand. I dog. think I'm just forgetful. I think I just pick it up. I'm like, I addressed earlier and we start talking. I don't think my body's going anywhere. My brain sure is. Forgetful, mixing up words. I might grab it and put it over here and just forget it. Forget that I even went in the other room and set it down. So do you have to do like a mantra before you do a video? Mantra. To like be calm or do you like... No, because I don't want to be calm. I want to be myself. People say, like I said earlier, quit talking so fast. You know, this, but if I think I did not talk fast and act like I do with all the energy, I wouldn't... People wouldn't enjoy it. So I'm just me. I don't want to try to calm it down. Though sometimes people give me that advice, calm it down. I'm not sure I could. If I tried, I'm not going to try. You got to be yourself, baby. got to be yourself, man. That's the only way we can do you it. You got to be yourself, dog. And obviously being yourself, dog, has gotten you this far, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Splinter, baby. Mm -hmm. Splinter, dog. It's gotten you this far, dog. That's right. That's right, man. You know, um, you. tell us a little bit about Bakersfield, growing up in Bakersfield, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Bakersfield is kind of like, is it still considered Southern California? It is, barely. It's like the last big Southern city. Okay. Tell us a little about Bakersfield, brother. Bakersfield is cool. Bakersfield had a cool skinhead punk rock scene. Which is what I first started getting into when I was rebelling. What kind of skinheads are they, bro? There's Sharp, which is skinhead against racial prejudice. Racial prejudice. Okay. So it's, so it's anti-racist skinheads. And then you have your Nazi skinheads, white power skinheads. And you have traditional, who are just into the look and the dress. Because skinheads started off in the 60s, and it was just had nothing to do with race. It had to do with movement, music, going to the dance hall, dress, a style. Yeah. Some people still embrace that style, which is a cool style, man. So... There are several different types. What does it mean when someone has Doc Martens on with red laces on? Nazi skinhead. Nazi skinhead. The Although, red. I mean, Nazi. how many how many swastikas do you have in your lightning bolts do you have on you? None. Why not? Say that. I mean, if I okay, if I had them, I wouldn't want to tell you about it. Okay. Because those are earned. They're earned. Not only that, I would catch a lot of flack, I believe. Okay. If I were to say I have swastikas, I think I, people would take, get the wrong impression. They can't really get through their head that the white movement in prison isn't racist. And because, it's not. Be, because you can it's, even have a skinhead. Because let me just say this real quick: the, the, you think of swastika and you think of Hitler, and you, but but the, skin, the skinheads or the woods with swastikas don't hate Jews. So they, obviously they have a different vision than Hitler did, just the same symbol. So they see that symbol and they go, "Oh, hey, you know, it's Hitler, but we don't hate Jews." Trip on this though: the Jews they run with the woods in prison. Do they not? You'll yeah. take a Jew and throw him in a white boy's cell, and they get the big old lunches that's kosher. They come dragging the motherfucker back like a big old head of cabbage. Come on now, preach somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that thing for my spread. So we have different ideology than Hitler, the same symbol. They see that swastika and they get grossed out. I mean, check it out, bro. Let me just tell you real quick what swastika is. So you go to the pin, you come out your shirt, you see a 13 is a cell cider. Yeah. You come out your shirt, you see a 14, oh, there's a North Daniel. 
what is there to symbolize a white boy? When you tear up your shirt, that he's a wood. What, what, what symbol? Swastika. Oh, he's a white boy, right? Doesn't necessarily mean you gotta want to kill every Jew or you have Hitler's ideology. It's a white symbol that's known throughout. So you can see it and represent white boy. So that's I, what it is. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't represent my father's side until I, I had to grow into a uh, grown man and understand that it's power, it's not weakness. Because when you're grown in as a Mexican Jew and and this LA culture, bro, it, it can it potentially make a, a person like myself feel like you are. Uh, you are less of the people around you, bro. Mm -hmm. But I realized, bro, that be my Jew side, bro, is my power along with my warrior side, my Mexicano side, doggy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and so it, it took me a long time to understand that, dog. You know what I mean? And to really embrace it, bro. Like, you know what, dog? This is who I am, bro. Mm -hmm. I can't change that, dog. I can't make the color of my skin darker, dog. I can't talk with a lingo that makes me sound more Mexican, dog. I can't. Do you know Spanish? Uh, not fluently. Mm -hmm. I don't speak it fluently, dog. You know what I mean? But it's funny about that is even all, all my, my, my cousins, all my family, I'm, you know what I mean? We don't, for some reason, so our family, our, our moms used to speak it amongst themselves, dog, and, mm -hmm. they, and they would speak it amongst themselves because they were single mothers, bro. You know what I mean? And they didn't share it with us, bro, because we knew when they were speaking it amongst themselves, it was uh, a conversation that we didn't need to hear, oh, bro. Okay, gotcha. You yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. That's that's how it it was, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Like my my grandma, R.I.P. Dog. I mean, she was she was as Mexican as you can get, dog. You know what I mean? We used to, we used to clown her as kids. You know what I mean? We're like, hey, grandma, what are you doing? You folding the cheats? You mm. know what I mean? Like she just really had a. A, a, a lingo about her dog that we would make fun of her dog, you know what I mean? But it, it, due to her, them not teaching us the language, bro, you know what I mean? But anyways, um, it's it's really, it's 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 tricky, bro. It's it's tricky growing up the way I grew up and, and maybe with my cousins as well too, dog, you know, and not being fluent in, this, in the language, bro. When, when, when you say, uh, it, you go uh, order other, tacos. Other parts, other parts of my family have a very darker skin complexion, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I think that's just something as being Chicano, dog. Uh, being raised in L.A., dog. You know what I mean? Being uh, uh, like a fourth generation, you know, individual in, in in this native land, bro. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's not. It's not like our family. Our my our family. My family was illegal. The next generation over. No, they have been legal for a minute already. You mm -hmm. feel me, dog? Yeah, yeah. You know, so I guess you can say it gets watered down, dog. Mm. It gets what the culture gets a little bit of watered down, dog. It's in regards to passing it on because people they want to be Americanized, dog. Mm. You know what I mean? They want to be Americanized, dog. You know, and and I think in the, from the time that we came from, from like the sixties, the seventies, maybe even the fifties or whatever and shit, dog. The, the the goal was to be Americanized, dog. Right. You know what I mean? While upholding a culture, you know what I mean? Mm. But you know, you, you want to get in where you fit in. You want to make mm. money, dog. You know mm. what you you know what I mean? You you adapting to environment, the survival of the fittest, dog. You know. You want to be like. Your colonizer. So with that being said, we have a thousand eleven people tapped in right now. So that's a new hoodstock record. Shout out to eleven thousand people. Thousand eleven, baby, tapped hey, in. I know, right? I know, I know. A group of those the point of view crew. Just saying. Shout out to the point of view crew. You know I love you guys, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, every one of you guys, hit the like, hit the subscribe. You know what I mean? This is what keeps us moving right here. You know what I mean? A thousand eleven. That's a, that's a new all time record right here. You just broke the record right here, being here, baby. All right, good looking you, up. You broke the record, brother. Okay. You know what I mean? Hey, hey it, it took a fucking wood from Bakersfield to come break this motherfucking record, up. baby. Splinter, baby. Woo. Yes. Prison POV. Make sure you go over and subscribe to his yes, channel as yes. well. This is a motherfucking collab. At, at the best right yes. here, doggy. And the point of view crew, I want you guys to know when I get back to the spot, I'm going to go live. I'm going to no announce that raffle winner and I'm going to kick with you guys. I'm going to do the damn thing. Yeah, hey, absolutely. Man. You know what, dog? I got some, uh, hold on. I got some, pre I got some presents for you, dog. I got you a Hoodstocks hat, oh, baby. Oh, thank you, man. Oh, yeah. All right, dude, I, I love some, it. Yeah, I got, you a, I got you a backpack, a Hoodstocks backpack with patches, bro. Oh, I love and it, And so man. these are iron-on patches, bro. Oh, that's that's for cool. you, brother, right there, cool, dog. Cool, cool. You know what I mean? And I got some more stuff for you that's going to come out the box in the in the, in the, in the little uh, closet way we have right there, bro. I love it. But we wanted, we wanted to give you gifts. We wanted thank to you. bless you, brother. I was just telling her on the way here I needed a backpack. We went into the store, got her a vape, and they had backpacks <laughs> on the wall. I was like, I want one. She didn't pick up on the hint. Maybe she didn't hear me. 
Can you hear me? <laughs> I was like, oh, the backpack, the backpacks are tight. I like that backpack. What do you think of that backpack? It's a cool backpack. <laughs> hey, walk out as vaping. Look at my vape. Don't you hate Got that, my bro? my backpack, dog. What's up with the yeah, backpack? Yeah, baby. Shout out to the backpack. Yeah. I mean, I thought you, I, so I saw your your Splinter shirts with the red, bro. Take that from him and give it to his wifey, dog, or his, his significant other, Girl. or his soon-to-be uh, baby mama. <laughs> um, we're yeah, both I, a little bit too old for that, but we're definitely enjoying Joe's company. We'll say that again? We're both a little bit too old for that, but we're definitely enjoying Joe's <laughs> company. And you, you can't really appreciate something later in life, huh? Well, do you believe in abortion? No, I don't. Oh, you don't believe in abortion? No. All right, well, then that's cool, dog. Salute to you because you guys can adopt a child, dog. There you go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you guys can adopt a child. You might be too old for it, bro, mm. but you can adopt a little black baby. You know I mean? would, too. And they'd huh? be, they'd be, I would, and they'd be lucky, too. They'd be very blessed. Absolutely, bro. I mean, name him Jose. Which, <laughs> <laughs> name him <'em> Jose. <laughs> <laughs> name him name Pepita. <laughs> hey, what do you call somebody with a rubber toe? What? Roberto. Roberto. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto, homie. Roberto, baby. Yeah, I mean, hold on. Hey, life's a risk, carnal. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go, doggy. Um, let's take a quick break. I got to take a leak real quick, and we're going to open up the phone line. And whoever wants to talk to my boy Splinter right here, baby, you're going to talk to the homie Splinter right here, dog. Let's open up the phone line, dog. You down to open I'm the down, phone line, dog? Down, yeah, I'm let's down. talk some shit, dog. Let's, hey, you guys bring the questions, bring the motherfucking heat, hit that like, hit that subscribe, baby, and we'll be back right now with Splinter, baby. Do it. Yeah. Yes, we'll be back. Awesome, man. Let the ceremony begin. Countless battles, I walk with no shadow. Yeah. Desert in sandal, the ghost with the candle. Woo. King of all crowns, rip the rattle off serpents. Blood, I thirst, since I am the worst. Ah. Follow your footsteps, you have no footprints. I am the surface, you worthless purpose. The moon, the stars, I'm connected to darkness. Heads of marksmen, I've hunted the farthest. Village of troops, run on top the roof. Black Sunday service with Holocaust roots. Homo Kabbalah, black magic and balas. These AKs and hollows will leave you forgotten. Woo. It's part of this season, you look. Looking for me, Mussolini, go Davi, the world cannot stop me. I'm legend, remember me? Give this since birth, you were delivered in a hearse. Your mother and your father trade your soul for a curse. I'm a soldier, coming at you like a locomotive. Woo! Never knew I'd never get the culture. Woo! Servants at the tabernacle potion. The devil made my father, little spirit set beside me. My mother was a slave to three witches on the island. Ever cheat death? Uh. Ever wake up and can't catch one breath? <laughs> Master of obstacles, the Nostradamus. I structure the continent, the director of operas. I swing my arms, I move the seas, I change the weather, 500 degrees. The god of chaos, I shed no pity. Come over for the seance. Hey, kitty, kitty. The ruler of your conscience, yeah. In your head, I'm a monster. Uh. Take control of all your options, yeah. There's no way you gonna stop this. Uh -uh. The ruler of your conscience, yeah. Yeah, where you gonna stop? Ah, yeah, Don't pop no master ceremonial. Ah. Godfather, read the word it on me. Yeah. In other words, we're bosses and me. Ah. Superintendents, chief of command. Take a damn good sniff for that white shit. White girl wasted on that like a white bitch. Fucking with you, dog. I ain't racist. Nah. Put a bandana on my head and make me rich. Chuck Taylor's big bag of bomb what bitch. You roll around the hood, no good, nameless. Nah. My ancestors built this. We are ancient. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bleed blue to the plane. Let's go, baby. Pilots are lit fit for crash landing. Nah. Stove top stays hot, no brake passing. Nah. Yo, wrong, red, wrong, crushing your ass. Nah. I organize hits in orderly fashion. Nah. Like door, my hammer hits, the floor's crashing. The damage I do leave your crew dismantled. Nah. This me, I don't give a fuck. I'm an asshole. Right. I've learned to embrace it. The king is standing. Just curving cases till shit changes. Yeah. I'ma keep doing dirt till I get paper. If there's a million over there, I'ma learn the language. Yeah, baby, let's go. Let's go. You on hook stocks right now, baby. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Blow this bitch up. We need a thousand likes right now. We need a thousand likes. Let's go, baby. Oh, 
Oh, you doing the phone calls coming in too? Hold on, hold on. You can wait up, homie. Wait up on the phone calls. Let me put that shit right here. You know what's good for the mental health, bro? The the mental health is good. Uh, is uh, the mushrooms, baby? The mushrooms do you the best, dog. You know what I mean? Look at this little pill. I definitely want to give them up for the way home. You know, dog. Microdosing mushrooms really helps me for my mental health, dog. I mean, and I know. I, th I think. Okay. Is mushrooms legal, dog? No. No. It's it's illegal. How can mushrooms be illegal, bro? I mean, it's not man-made. It's out of a fucking cow patty, right? They give you hallucinations? Huh? They give you hallucinations? Sometimes. Or just like a body high? It's a body high. Microdosing is a body high. Uh, when you when you do uh, X amount of shit, um, it's hallucinations. Let's take this phone call right here, dog. Let's do it. What's up the phone call? What up, baby? You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. What up, Splinter? Hey, what up? Hey, it's Pat Mike. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Good. I gotta, I'm going to mail you out something in a couple days. Okay, cool, man. Glad to hear it. All right, you're doing good, man. Keep it up. All right, thank you. Hey, much love. I love you, brother. Stay in touch, okay? Uh, all right, late. Okay. Okay, we got a phone call from Oregon right here. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Turn the volume down in the background, bro. Split Dizzle. Derek. What up, dude? How you doing? That's the Showing VP up, right there. Homeboy. That's the vice Showing president up. of Prison POV. What's up, Derek? Oh, is it? Yes. Damn, where's the sergeant uh, arms at? Yes, uh, he's around. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, bro? Come I love dog. Oregon, bro. You can fucking take mushrooms for legally up here. Oh, okay, cool. Good to hear that. I just wanted to... I, anyways, I just thought that was fucking funny. Right on, cool. Much love, homeboy. Much love, brother. Thank you, Derek. Let someone else call in. Okay. Get me up after, bro. I will. Yeah, that's dope, dog. I love I love my brothers, my wood brothers. You on Hoodstocks, talk to us. Hey, it's Chris. Playing kid, discreet. Why, yeah. I'm on stroking a large cock. Eight cut thick, big stream handle, hanging ball back. Stroking back. Uh, my touch. Old buddies uh, with big cocks. You know, about cock heads. Play around. Masturbate. Yeah. <laughs> What yeah, the man, that's fuck? We can get him help. That's a hard freestyle right there. God damn it. That motherfucker, that, that fool needs a dildo like right now, bro. <laughs> he needs a record deal. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, let's do it like this. Uh, hold on, hold on. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Turn the volume down in the background, G. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us, baby. Okay, we'll go to the next caller. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Talk to us. You're on Hoodstocks. Okay. Let's go to the next one, dog. They're losing their nerve. There's a lot of Obama phones out there. Yeah, you're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Damn, this shit's... This shit's... Hello? Yo, what up? Hello. Yeah, what up, doggy? What up, Luck? What up, baby? <laughs> Fuck you, Lucky. I love you too, doggy. Hey, much love, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, brother. Any questions for Splinter? Right. Hey, man, good interview, Splinter. Stay Thank you very up, much. Man. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, man. You guys have a good one. Thank you, you too. Likewise. Uh, just, a, just a love shout out. Uh, you're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Damn. What the fuck? It might be my phone, dog. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hello? It might be my phone, dog. Turn the volume down in the background if you call. Meanwhile, hit the like, hit the subscribe. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on. 
Fuck, dog. This is blowing the fuck up. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Lucky. Yo, what up? What's happening? Fuck you, Lucky. <laughs> I love you too, doggy. Talk to us, doggy. <laughs> That's right, brother. What's up, Slim? Hey, what's up? It's Joey. What's up, Joey? How you doing, brother? I'm doing very good, man. Right here in Hoodstocks. Good to be here. I Perfect see day. That, brother. Yes. I see that, brother. I'm glad to see you up there, man. Love you. Good one, man. You're a good one. Good to hear about your significant other, brother. I'm proud of you, bro. Keep up the hard work, brother. Thank you, man. It means a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely, dog. All means right, a great. Guys, have a good one. Yeah. Likewise. If you're uh, calling uh, no caller ID, you're not going to get through, dog. So just stop it, dog. I mean, nah. No caller ID gets no love, dog. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Next caller right here. What I do see we my got? homie Lewis, Jose Lewis Sanchez. Hold on, hold on. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hello. Mr. Lucky. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Hey, uh, I'm right here. I'm a wood out here in the SGV. Uh, I just, I, I just want to say it's dope. You got Splinter on, man. I follow both of you guys for like over two years now, and it's good to see, man. Two, two YouTube channels that I follow are both linking up, and man, I haven't even seen the, the, the interview yet. I just came back from dinner right now, and so I was like, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to watch the interview. So I know Splinter's got a gang of good stories and shit. So. What's up, Splinter, man? Good to see you on here. And lucky, Thank you. you know, keep doing your thing. Thank you, brother. You know, we got to get into Splinter stories, too, dog. We we haven't even fucking touched. We haven't even scraped the fucking surface yet, baby. Uh, you're okay. on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. What's up, Lucky? Kipara. Kipara. What's happening, <laughs> homie? What's up, fool? Shout out to my IBW family. Homeboy, local 47 up in his bed. Yeah, baby. IBW, <laughs> baby. The greatest. Yeah, yeah, you know, you went to you went to school for the electrical yes. trade, huh? Yeah, I graduated. And where'd you graduate from, bro? The college, San Joaquin Valley College, with an electrical technical degree. Is that right? Electrical oh, technician. Okay. Have you have you that's have right. you yeah, have you wired right. anything up? No. No. Mm, not well. I mean, in school, there's a little bit of hands on. Hey, wired up the pipa. <laughs> hey, Simone, Simone, wired up the pipa, homie. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, homie, shout out to all the homies right there, all the goonies, homie. I'm Michael Collin from Santana, from Orange County, from that big west. Hey, shout out, homie. Much love to all you guys, homies. Absolutely, dog. We love you, brother. Yeah, all for right, sure, homie. dog. Hey, Thank wow. you, dog. Um, Splinter, let's get, let me get this Texas call right here. They keep on calling in. Let me see if I can get it. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Yo, what's good, bro? What up, G? None. I just, I just called to say what's good to Splinter. Hey, what's up? And Thank you. Yo, what's good, bro? I've been messing with your your channel ever since you were talking about getting your PO on that carga. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, sir. It's been rocking with you. You know, I keep doing your thing, bro. All right, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stay in touch. Now? Yes, sir. Absolutely. You know what, dog? I got somebody right here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me let me do it like this. Hold on. Let me do it like this. Um. Let's do it like this. I let me get. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna call someone because they send text messages when they can't get through. Sometimes. Wait, hold on. And, and, let me see if I can get this call. Fuck. Too many calls, dog. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. You it, talk to us, my G. Yeah. Yeah. What up, doggy? Yeah. One of those uh, proud boys. What's that? Are, are you one of those uh, proud boys? Are you one of those proud boys? Power boys? Proud boys. Proud boys, no. I mean, shout out to my boy Justin from the Proud Boys. I mean, he's been on this podcast. I mean, shout out to Justin. Yeah. Got love for Justin. Right? I mean, not, not, not all the Proud Boys are, are what they potentially can think they are. You know what I mean? I mean, I, we've had some good dudes right here from the Proud Boys that have been in the, in the studio with us. I mean, would you say so, Preston? Yeah. I've not heard of the Proud Boys. Okay. Huh? I haven't heard of them. There's the, the, the Bakersfield. There's a, there's a, a chapter of Proud Boys. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, absolutely, okay. dog. Yeah. Um, and and you know what, dog? I know. Hold on, hold on. Why no? Who the fuck is this? Hold on. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hello. Yo, what up, G? What's up, Splinter? Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up? It's me, Wino. Oh, what up, Wino? How you doing, man? Hey, man, I'm, I'm, it's good to see you on there, man. Hey, what's up, Lucky? What up, baby? I'll see you, dog. 
Me, sell a life, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Local 11, brother. Dick, I got you on the fucking, uh, I'm, uh, uh, tapped in on my fucking phone line like your your name came up, dog. What up, baby? Orra, orra. No, no, no. Just wanted to see what's up, man. You guys are, you guys are doing good. Keep it up. You're looking out, Wino. What's up, bro? Much love, baby. Much love, dog. All right, homie. Yeah, thank you, you, dog. Uh, we need questions. Who's got questions for fucking Splinter, dog? You're on Hood Stocks. Talk to us. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, baby? This is uh, KDM, bro. What's good? What's good, Lucky? How you doing? Good, baby. You got Splinter right here, dog. Talk to the homie. What's up? Hey, every, what's up, Splinter? Every time I see you, every time I see your episode, bro, it gets better and better. We only got like oh, yeah, thank you. people watching. So thank you. Hit that like, bro. Hey, Splinter, good shit, bro. You doing your shit? I like that. Thank you, I appreciate it, man. Yes, and I would like to say things yeah. have been getting a lot better lately. I've been taking more serious and outside help. Green yeah, Gemini's so, been helping uh, me, so yeah. Thank you for for noticing, man. The hard work we've been putting lately. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. that's what's up, yo. So uh, um, I got I got this uh this little business I'm coming up with. Lucky, maybe you can help me out with it. I can, I'm trying to uh, link up with you. Okay, what what is your business? Let's hear your proposal, dog. Like, what are you no, gonna like, do? I got I I, I called in. I got a couple things, but like um. But right now I'm trying to sell like uh like you know street vendors like I'm trying to sell some street food and shit like that. So I was thinking maybe I can like hit up. I want to hit you up behind the scenes like on the DM or something. But I'll let you know. You know what you need to do, dog. You need to go to West Hollywood and sell dicks, homie. I mean, dicks, <laughs> dicks are a hot commodity in West Hollywood right now, dog. I mean, yeah, you, you might you might uh, find Casey right there, dog, shopping for a fucking nice penis, dog. I mean, um, <laughs> I give, give Casey as a referral then. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hit, me, hit me on the side, baby, and we'll talk about it, dog. Hey, I love you, I dog. Got you, hey, thank you, lucky, hey. Absolutely, thank you. brother. Uh, you're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hey, what's going on? Calling in from Illinois. Illinois, baby, Thinking let's out. go. Direct, boy. Hey, uh. Uh, I just want to know what it's like when uh, when somebody has never been in the system before, how they embrace when they walk in. They embrace good. They go straight to their homeboys. Uh, usually by the time they go to prison, they've already been through county jail. They've been schooled. They know who's waiting for them when they get there, the reception and the main line. So it's all mapped out. They got people waiting for them. But when you first go to county jail, it's up to you, you discernment to look in, you know, what group you want to get in. There's usually a couple different groups. Probably, you know, the group that's out there working out. And they're school, they're doing it right, and you got the knucklehead. So, county jail, you got to get in where you fit in. Reception, prison, the, there's a map for you, the trail waiting for you. I mean, is it love right away? Because, I mean, I'm a land king from, from Chicago, man. And, you know, the brothers, they, they shun you away until they check the paperwork, you know. They, they act oh. a little funny until. So, oh, right, right, right. You know, oh. I don't know. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, paperwork right away. And as soon as they show that it's clear, then yeah, love right away, man. Definitely. All right, man. Much love, man. Good question. Good All question. Right, yeah. Next phone call. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Cool. Finally got through. I, I'm from Splinter's channel. Right on. I, I, follow, I followed up over there. I got a, a question for Splinter, if I may. What's up, homeboy? Hey, man. Good to see you on a live stream, man. Hey, I'm, I'm in Oklahoma, Splinter. And I know you came here to Oklahoma. I was wondering, how did you get to Oklahoma? You know, were the flying? Did you take the bus? Did they make you walk here? Or, oh, no. I, I drove to Oklahoma when I went there. Yes, in okay. a truck. What mm -hmm. kind of car were you in? Did you drive to Oklahoma in? I was in some old bucket, uh, a U-Haul, actually. Yeah. Went in a U-Haul, yeah. Yeah. Hey, what is good about I, Oklahoma, bro? Oklahoma is okay. It's a good place to hide out in. <laughs> yeah, I like I love Oklahoma. Oscar. You can fish. Okay, so Oscar, Oklahoma. Huh? Oklahoma's cool. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, man. But yeah, I was. I thought maybe you got arrested, or you know, being in jail in California. I thought maybe they shipped you out here to Oklahoma. I know they do that a lot. Oh no, California. I got. Oh okay, I know what you're saying now. No, I got shipped out to Arizona, the COCF program. When I was a solid at level three, they rounded us up and shot us to Arizona. On a prison bus, first we went through uh, Wasco, like uh, the layover, and then we went to Arizona. Did you get uh, involved cool. in all that? Out of state transfer? No, never. I, I mean, I, the last, the last. So I got a T eight nine one zero zero number. I got a J nine. No, I got a J nine four five zero six. I got a T eight nine one zero zero, and then I and I caught an Arizona number. Uh, uh, the fucking two seven. 
I don't know, some crazy number, dog. You get around. I get around, dog. Like my lady. In, in the federal prison, they call that diesel therapy. Those California state prison, do they have a, a, a name for when they put you on the bus and send you somewhere else? Okay, yeah. I think it's called you know, fucked. Fucked. <laughs> Long way from home. You're fucked. Well, I know federal prison, it's called diesel therapy. Mm. Yeah. And for the days you spend on that bus, you don't get time. You know, say you've got 20 days left and they give you some diesel therapy. You lose all those days that you're on the bus. It's not counted as being incarcerated. Hey, brother, what's your name real quick? What's your name? My real name? Yeah. Street name. <laughs> Whatever name you want to give. What's your name, bro? Um, just ca- You can call me Darren. That's my name. Darren. Darren. Darren, you were very hesitant about giving your name, but it's okay. <laughs> Darren, can I ask you a serious question? Absolutely, sir. How many of your sisters have you fucked? I can't be rude to point of view crew. No, I'm just playing, dog. I got your back, Darren. All right, Darren. I'm fucking with you, dog. <laughs> bro, we have fun. It's not rude, bro. I know. Okay, I try, I try. It's rude. It's okay, not rude. Okay, let me just say this moving forward. Point of view crew, if you call, you might get... Hold on, though, a tiny bit. Talk, shit, talk to you. It's bro, I do it to my own, bro. I know, I know, I know. I that's do it right. to my own, baby. Okay, that's, right. that's how we do it right they, here. They, they been sticking up for me. I stick up for them. It's a- Absolutely, dog. My bad, Darren. I'm sorry, dog. I mean, we I have no too. Problem. We have fun right here, bro, and you can that's shoot the really jokes good. right back, dog. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I was just clowning. I was just clowning. Are, are you not familiar with Hoodstocks, the way we do it right here, bro? No, I apologize. I apologize. Yeah, I am. Okay, I am. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have a good time right here, bro. We talk shit. So, hey, Darren, answer the question. How many of your sisters have you fucked? I mean, because because you the woods play like that, that like was, a motherfucker. Oh, they sex play hardcore. Yeah. So why are we stopping now, sir? No, no, no. Why hey, man, are we listen. stopping now? The woods created sex playing, dog. They did, they They're did. sex playing fools, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I, I think there's one thing that the the, the, the homies got uh, from the woods, and that's sex playing. You know what I mean? Straight up, dog. You know what I mean? I'm good. You take that, dog. You know what I mean? Darren, are you still there? Yes, sir. Hey, Darren, I don't mean no disrespect. We no, just play yeah, right yeah. here, brother. I, sh- I should have said nothing. You, you got to make me feel wrong that I even said nothing, man. Well, you should like feel a, bad, it bro. It was just like an instant thing, like uh, just a reaction. Uh, uh, point of view, crew. That's I got homeboy. you. He just put his cape on for you. And sh- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming through. Don't worry. For you. I got you, Darren. Ah! <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> now I'm dragging down the sweat. Are we going to be able to edit that out? No. No? Hell no, it? bro. Oh, fuck. Hell no, it. you're fucked. Oh, man. Remember, the, remember that bus you were on? <laughs> <laughs> remember when, <laughs> when they give you diesel time? Bro, we have, we, bro, my boys, we clown them all and they talk shit to me, dog. I know. You know how they call up and say, hey, Lucky, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 okay. that, that that's the well, love, I got a little baby. bit of it. In the, in the comment section, someone said something about me stealing cigarettes. And I was like, no, I don't even smoke. And someone said, dude, you gotta kick back, splinter, have, this is how we do it. This is how we get down. Darren, hold on. Darren, we love you, brother. Yeah. What, Oklahoma, baby. We love you, dog. Subscribe, like, dog. Please hey, subscribe and like we, right now. We, 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 we fuck with all the brothers right here, dog. And uh-huh. we and you know what? This is this is the this is the fucking the the Joe Rogan Howard Stern oh, of the you. neighborhood right here, dog. And we have too much fun, baby. We love you, doggy. Thank you, Darren, for I calling thought, in. I saw it as well. Thank you, well, brother. Let me just say yes, real sir. Quick. Bro, I can't believe you got mad right now, no, dog. I didn't you got mad, bro. It took two you hours before shook. I did something stupid. I'm doing pretty good. I thought I would fuck up something stupid <laughs> a long time ago, dog. So it took me two hours to be stupid. Hey, bro, it's all love, my boy. Bro, come on, bro. I apologize. I bro, apologize. Bro, the white leave. boys are getting mad on Hoodstocks? What the fuck, bro? You want us to leave now? That's all I got to say about that. Life's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> now, now I opened it up, huh? Now I'm really gonna get it out. <laughs> Bro, you fucked up. I fucked up, huh? <laughs> Little Darren, check it out. <laughs> no, bro, bro, we, bro, we talk shit here, okay. dog. Not we bad. talk shit here, bro. You know what? Live streams. Mm-hmm. So you, you got dudes calling in. Oh, Maybe right. I should switch my program up because we don't. We no, don't know where no, I come from. Hey, someone in the comments. I'm sorry, it's hilarious. They said they don't edit them. They just delete them. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Edit, delete, same thing. No, let's get another phone call right here, dog. I mean, we do that sometimes. Hey, you're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us, baby. Yes, sir. Have you ever been to the state of Baltimore before? Oh, no. State of what? Baltimore. Isn't that Maryland? I, I never have. Have you ever been to the state of Baltimore before? No, I never have. Nope. Mm-mm. Been in the paper? Been in the paper in the state of Baltimore? No. That looks, is there somebody that looks like me? Baltimore? It's scary. Write down my name, first of all. This is Officer Bob Hamilton. 
Oh, okay. What's up, Officer Bob? Several bank accounts are active under your name illegally. Okay. You Can I ask you a question? How many your of your sisters have you fucked? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait, you can't talk to the goonies like that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I think this is like a phone call, like one of my phone calls, bro. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. I, I gotta apologize to you for that. Well, you're good, bro. Okay, you're okay. good. I don't take nothing hard right here, baby. Uh, we know who does, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. Well, for just a second. I'm over. I'm over. I'm over. Touche, <laughs> sir. <laughs> you're on Hoodstock. Talk to us. What's up, hey, hey, hey yo, from the IE. What up, dog? What's cracking, baby? What's up? Hey, shout out to your homie Ricky from Highland Park. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's my boy. Much love. Much love, Splinter. Hey, what's up, man? What's up to you? Hey, you know who this is? It's KO, bro. KO? Yeah, what up, dog? What up, homeboy? Where'd I know you from? Hey, uh, I've been watching your channel, dog. Okay, you yeah, we talked the, uh, we talk a letter in the mail. Oh, that's right, that's right. What's up, brother? Thank you, man. What's up? Yeah, much love, bro. I support you guys, bro, and I, I'm glad that you guys stay with this positive shit, bro. I like how you guys clown here and there, though. <laughs> I clown all Me the too. Time, yeah, I'm getting used to the clowning. The clowning is awesome. Maybe I need, need to do more clowning in my channel. I'll be so serious. I can you take do. a cue from you. You do, bro. I can do. take a cue from you. You do. You make fun of yourself sometimes, right? Make a note of that, huh? We're going to open it up. Hey, Lucky, good. Lucky's going to rub off on you, dog. He already has. I'm going to rub that's one right. off on him. Yeah, yeah, he's going to rub in me. <laughs> hey, that's right, though. Hey, that's I'm right, here in though. Indiana, though, man. I changed my life and shit, and I watch your guys' podcast, and it helps me a lot, bro. Well, you know, Glad you fucked that. up right there by changing your life, dog. You know what I mean? Because you're not the same person you used to be, a fucking dirty son of a motherfucker, dog. He's a quitter. You know I mean? You're a quitter. quitter yeah, nobody He's likes quitters, dog. Quitter. quitter. Do the drugs, dog. Do the drugs. <laughs> Smoke the meth. Jack off all over the place, dog. Stop playing, dog. <laughs> nah, no more, man. I'm on house arrest. House <laughs> arrest, dog. You, well, yeah. you got a, you got a controlling female in your life because that's what I know house arrest is like, dog. You know what I mean? Is your girl not letting you go and do nothing, dog? The only way you can go somewhere is with her, dog. That's house arrest, dog. You just uh, no, choke up. Right got me on a GPS, GPS, dog. GPS. <laughs> See, All why right, could we done. not have had a couple of those calls before fucking Darren called? Hey, Darren. Fuck no you, was. Darren. <laughs> Hold on. We got a call from Whittier right here. Uh, go ahead, Whittier. Hey. What? What's up, Lucky? What's up, baby? What's cracking? These butt cheeks, homie. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I, I, well, I just got to uh, tell Splinter. What's up, man? Uh, I'm really... uh. I watch them, you know? Thank yeah, you, I appreciate dog. it. Yeah, dog, you watch them in the shower? Are you a peeping Tom, dog? What do you do, bro? <laughs> you fucking weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Hey, Bob. You jack off to his fucking prison pictures? <laughs> Come clean, now. Nah, nah, because I don't have a prison picture. I'm doing it right now, carnal. Oh, hey, he's going to send you a picture on a fucking G-string right now, dog. It's going to blow your fucking balls off, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you ever jack off to a wood shit. with lightning bolts on his ass? Hell yeah! Hey, 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 hey. I don't got bolts on yet, but I'll put them there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> bolts coming out the dick. Merry Christmas. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, man, we're going to let it rip on my next live stream. I can't wait to go live. Oh, what up, hey? You got Splinter right here, dog. You know what I mean? He's ready to give it to you. What do you got for him? What's up, when it's China Love and Jay Hustle from OC. What's how are up, you? Lucky? What up? Good, how are you? Very good, very well. Very nice to see you, nice to see you, Lucky. I would say the same thing, but I don't see you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, I'm watching you guys. FaceTime okay, him. Fucking, fucking with you, girl. What's, what's crack? What do you got for Splinter right Someone here? Someone call Lucky on a FaceTime. We're right here. What's up? We're right here on the OC. We would have known. We would have been over there. Yeah? Well you, uh, well, you got the Aquanet on your hair right now or what? <laughs> no, no Aquanet. You got the funk vest? You got, yeah, oh, the, no, the funky no, vest? You know, we got, yeah, we got the... Yeah, we got all that over here. Yeah, we're getting busy watching you guys. That's right, cool. love. Appreciate you. No, it's right. all love. It's, awesome. it's all it's respect, awesome. right? You know what it is. Uh, let's yeah. get You know what? Wait, hey, thank you for calling. Let's go to the next caller. Hey, you're on Hoodstocks. You got Splinter right here, the super freak. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Uh, you hear the story about when they found out he was gay? Or he wasn't gay? 
Well, hold on. You need to correct your energy right now, sir. <laughs> I think you talk closer to your microphone, yeah, please. Yeah, put, put, the, put the mic in your mouth, homie. Hey, my bad. Casey, oh. Casey found out he wasn't gay. You, you, you hear that story? Well, well, tell me the story, though. So that dude was sitting there, right? And, you know, I'm a bit of a watch, bro. I'm a little weird like that. You know, I know you're a little weird like that, too. No, I'm not, bro. Yeah. Don't include me in your fucking weirdness, sir. <laughs> Yeah, but that dude let, let so he let, he let a dick hit him in the back of the throat one time, right? <laughs> and he's like, nah, this ain't for me. He's like, but I gotta try it again, right? I gotta verify. So after I hit him in the back of the throat the second time, that that's when he was like, I'm bona fide, I'm not gay. So oh, verifying penises, <laughs> sir. He said this isn't for me. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on right here, dog. Splinter, you got all the weird guys calling right Man, now, bro. You know what I mean? They know where to go. Yeah, the prison. They, they, hey, well, hold on. What the fuck? Hold on. Let me just get that off. Splinter, share yes, a story with us, brother. Okay. Definitely will. I would like to bring knows. one up that yeah. someone reminded me of. It. Someone spoke on it a minute ago. I got a parole officer strung out, moved into his house, and took it over while I was being looked for by parole. So basically, this dude, he's the star teacher. And what they have is if you have too many dirties, the parole office is make you go to the star class, an eight-hour program. And the parole office is right down the street from the Dauphine Motel. And since he's a drug counselor and he went to school for drug training, but he never used drugs, started getting curious. He's like, I see these people coming in and out of prison. I know about drugs by the book. What does it do? So he'd park his car at lunch hour by the druggy motel until he saw you know, someone full of drugs and asked him, hey, what's up? Dude, my homeboy, matter of fact, brought him to the motel, started doing drugs with them, and he said, hey, I'm a parole officer. My homeboy split, got all tripped out, came pick me up, says, a parole officer back in my motel. What? Went over there and started talking to him, and I got a good vibe, but he just wanted to get loaded. Fuck it, he was buying. You can arrest me later, I'm going to jail tomorrow anyway. This would be a good story. This is wrong with this shit. So then, we traded numbers, and they were looking for me tough, the be fat. They were really looking for me excited. I caught a stabbing. I only had to do a year flat for it. I did it in front of God everybody. Chester Lane and Bakersfield, everybody saw me, but too many people told on me. It's actually beat it. They couldn't even do nothing. Because if you have one person saying it's you on the ground stabbing up, one person saying you're stabbing down, one person saying you jumped them, one person said they jumped you, too many eyewitness accounts, they can't do nothing with it. They're fucked. And they knew I was going to do your flat violation anyway. I did that. Your flat got out and they were on me. I was scounded. Where's this fucking full at? So none of my homeboys let me kick it. I couldn't go anywhere. Every time I'd go somewhere, like, dude, they're just here looking for you. And someone just prowl over his house and I just took that motherfucker over. You know anything about just taking a pad over? A little bit. That's, I did the damn thing. Took his pad, took his... The only thing I couldn't do, I wanted to drop him off the work at the parole office to take his car all day. But I strung him out on heroin, <laughs> OD'd him twice. Yeah. Damn. Speaking of stabbings, have you ever stuck? Have you ever stabbed a finger in your ass while you're jacking off? <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Double check. You put one? Don't lie, you put three, fool. <laughs> okay, put one. Fucking Splinter, dog. Splinter. Yes, sir. How you feeling right now, brother? Oh, great, man. You feeling good right now? We got some questions from Casey right now. You know what I mean? Casey? No, you don't have no questions from Casey. Casey's fucking... Let's, uh, let's take the next phone this, call, baby. Chat. Phone call. Oh You're on hood stocks right now. Talk to us. You're calling in from New Orleans, Louisiana. They're shooting you some love real quick, man. I used to watch the show whenever it was methadone detox. That's right. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's pretty yeah, interesting. Man, I got that. Mm-hmm. I got off that dog food watching and man, I just want to let you know, man, I'm shooting some love. That's right, I appreciate it. Thank you for sticking around once I switched from methadone detox to prison POV. Thank you for staying with me, man. It means a lot. I mean, time, man. yeah, absolutely, bro. Thank you for calling, brother. Let me ask you a question, dog. What does it take for a solid white boy to stay in the yard? To stay? Stay in the yard, bro. Good paperwork and good, heart. Good paperwork and heart? That's it. What about when you got white boys that come in, dog, and they just like, uh, you know, just kind of like accidentally ended up in the system. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because when it comes to the white boys and shit, they're not a part of a, like a gang culture, some of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know, so they, they end up, they fuck up. They might have done some like blue collar type of crime. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. they end up in a prison system. And they're good dudes, bro. Like regular dudes, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That ended up in a bad environment. I mean, when you see those dudes, I mean, is it like, Oh, we gotta and they're just condition totally them. Well, they kind of get a pass. It's California system set up where you just can't bully, can't just punk. You have to get them the bid in for the doubt that they have heart until so they test it and they fail. But if you know they're a sweet motherfucker, or maybe they someone tests their heart and they fail, then at that point they're a Caucasian, which we, we would call them. They're no longer white, no longer woods, a strip Caucasian. They're around. You might keep them around. They're going deep to store. 
And they can maybe stay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got something to offer the fuck. Got something to offer me. They can kick it. Maybe pay some dope debts off. But yeah, it's interesting you brought that point up because a lot of white boys, like I said, don't know anything about prison politics or know anything. That kind of culture. But some, like Oildale, for instance, is a straight rockin' neighborhood in Bakersfield of just white boys. So those dudes from Oildale will go into the system already knowing prison politics, how to get down, what's up, you disrespect me, we're going to fight, get jumped, regulate. They already know because their they're uncles and dads were in the pen. So they already know about all that. So we have our residents too. They say you guys have residents. We have residents come in. White boys don't. They're just fucking residents. They're just kicking it. Yeah. They're there because they look pretty. Yeah. Nah, I'm trying to get in on you. I was talking shit. Nah, no, I, no, I get it, bro. Get I get it. it. They're, yeah. there to, they're there to do their time and get the fuck out. Right. You know what I mean? But they got to do what they got to do to 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 meet that parole date. You know what I mean? Right. You know, and, and it potentially sometimes can get a little tricky when you're dealing with a certain crowd of white boys that, and, the, and depending on how the yard is, bro, you know what I mean? It could potentially be rough and they got to right. do shit that they have never thought about um, ever in their life, bro. Right, right. We're going right. to get off with a bunch of Southsiders that are all gang members from the hood and yeah. we have like 10 white dudes, five of them know what time it is, five or just don't, like you're saying, resident white boys, Caucasians, never been in a fight. They're there for computer crimes or just, they don't know what the fuck. But computer sometimes they'll crimes. surprise you too, though. Yeah, no, they'll surprise you too. That dog. crazy strength, they'll come yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, sometimes you got to back a fucking pit, you got to back a dog into a corner, dog, and realize how big his motherfucking bite is, baby. Man. I get that yes. shit, dog. Yeah, absolutely. Casey, let's go. Let's go to you real quick, dog, because I got to take a leak real quick, dog. Yeah, I mean, Casey. So how many pairs of Doc Martens do you own? I don't own any more. I would love to own a pair. If someone wants to shoot me a pair of size nine dogs, I'd love to have them. You, could, you, you could have mine. Yeah. Serious? Yeah. Right on, dude. Size, size nine? nine? Yeah, I'm out of size nine. I hey. rock size nine. But my yeah. shits are slip-ons, bro. Hey. Oh, okay. Hey, I, bro, I don't got the ones with the lace on <laughs> My lady. <laughs> my lady wears a size nine. Oh, right on, man. There you go, sir. Those are badass, though. I can't do that. Thank you, though. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> the camera's oh, on me. You can't even see it. We got to put them over here. Easy as a brand, brand, new. <laughs> brand new. We just gotta get uh, just gotta they get a little shine, stocks, bro. Huh? Just got buffed. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get these bitches buffed. These are going straight to Splinter right now. Thank you. Get them shined up for him, please. So uh, another question that I, that I had was, so I know how the Southsiders call you know their big homies or their OGs. What is uh, what, what is the terminology that? for the uh, same thing, big homie? Interesting. Yep. It's not like best bud. No, not best bud. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is my best. There are best buds in there. Best buds. Definitely. That's hilarious. Um, Those are Doc Martens right there. Oh, they are slip-ons. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, right. Yeah, now yeah, they, yeah. I get it. I thought, yeah, okay. it is. Yeah, I rocked a slip on, bro. You know, they don't make them the same though. The Doc Martens, no, they don't make them the same. If we could just. Aerosols? Uh, the aerosols? Well, up? they started making them in China, and the, the fucking no. quality went down. Oh, damn. Yeah, bro, it's all shit now. It's heartbreaking, man. Hey, so, but you said you don't have any uh, favorite meals, like, when you were a child, right? I don't, yeah. But what about now? I mean, what do you enjoy now? I do like, I like, um... Beef stroke, stroke me off? Yeah, yeah, same shit, just hamburger helper. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> what? I do. You're still the hamburger helper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go out a lot, dude. I, I, the fast food, homeboy. But I'm like, like what? Mean, like what? McDonald's, Taco Bell, just fast food, Jack in the Box, Wendy's, make the rounds to get burned out. A lot of fast food. Okay, then what's your go-to order at McDonald's right now? Quarter pounder with cheese, no onions, and a milk. People trip and out on me. milk? Get, yes, people trip out on me. But what do they give you for? Ooh. I love you, baby. I love you, dog. I love you too, dog. I, love I really you, do. Brother. No, I sincerely do. I love you, I really bro. Love you. I love you so much, though. Yeah. He just used a safe word for his yeah. He said pineapple. <laughs> I've said that like 10 times, huh? That's a safe word for his Is that a safe word, bro? Is. What is pineapple? It is. It's it's safe. pineapple. Love, fam, wifey, 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 what is pineapple? That means get me out of here, fool. Kill game, shut the fuck down. Like whenever I asked you for some That's of that, uh, a microdose, you said pineapple. Pineapple? Yeah, don't do it. Safe uh, word. Whew, that got me. Damn. It means don't do it. How do you? How do you? How do you? How, do you, how, do, how, how, how does? How does a a woman? You're a woman. Yes, I am. You're a grown woman. Yes, I am. How do you deal with a wild animal like this? Uh, he's, he's not a wild animal. There, yeah, actually, very sweet, very calm, and I just I scatterbrained at most, but she she keeps me centered. You know, the yin and yang thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, is, what is your ideology in, in, in life and in, in world? Do you know what I mean? Like, what is your ideology? Like, what do you, what do you 
Like, what are your politics, bro? Like, as you know what I mean? So you were raised in this, you were raised in a culture of yeah. the woodpile, bro, where there's a lot of swaths because there's a lot of lightning bolts that could be potentially, potentially some racism going on. You know what I mean? Like, what as a grown man, 43 years old, bro, like, what, what do you see eye to eye with right now? Like, what makes sense to you, bro? I am the thing I put first and foremost, perhaps I don't talk about enough, but um, I, I'm into the Word of God, Jesus Christ, actually, Christian. I, I just, I, that's my identity. You know what's a trip about dudes that have been in the prison system? When it comes to them changing their life, they are so extreme, bro. It's mm. crazy, bro. Like, I got homies, bro, that are now just crazy-ass fucking victory outreach dudes. We had a homie right here that is shot, paralyzed, this, that, dog, you know what I mean? And now he believes that fucking this, you know, this this uh, conservative fucking Republican side is the the gospel Jesus I mean how do you feel about the Bible bro is the Bible is the like how do you feel about the Bible bro I mean should we still acknowledge the 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 rules and the regulations the Bible presented us in 2022 bro I mean yeah it's it's the, okay first answer your first question the Bible is the word of God inspired word of God should we uphold all the word of regulations that say for instance a pastor can't be divorced or that a woman has to keep quiet in church Maybe not. Times have changed. You know, been with the culture a little bit. Wait, I'm. St I can't wrap my head around the the quarter pounder with milk, dude. Yes. What the fuck? I know. Let me what get, what let me do get. they give you for to drink in prison every night with your dinner? Milk. So I've only ever drank in milk with dinner when I used to go hang out with like for dinner when I was younger with my white friends. See, that's what I mean. Hammer help earn milk. Hey, on it. hey, trouble. You're on hoodstocks. Talk to us. Crazy. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, happy Sunday to all you guys, man. Absolutely. Happy Sunday to everybody right here. Yeah. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like button, hey, bro. Hey. Let's get this video to 100, 1,000 likes, baby. Do let's it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. But, Splinter, man, I see some of your shit, dog, and I bet you didn't know you were signing up for this, right? A whole lot of shit talking Mexicans, man, but that, that just means that motherfuckers like you, though, dog. Yeah, no, I love it. I, you know, I, I, I booked up a minute ago. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I love it though. I love like, it. That's a brotherhood thing. It's That's a brotherhood yeah. thing. It's camaraderie. Thank you. It's camaraderie, bro. Camaraderie. <laughs> you, know, you know when you go, uh, not everybody's worked at a, at a construction site with a bunch of men, but the yeah. ones that have worked there, you already know, man. Motherfuckers talk shit and. That's right, dude. You know, it's, 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 but it's love, though. That's the thing, and so that's what this stuff is about. That's right, man. That's right. Absolutely right. Yeah. Um. But look, I just wanted to call in real quick and uh, support both of you guys. Like I said, I checked out a few of your videos. Um. I spent quite a little bit of time on, uh, on vacation over there at KBSP in Kern Valley. Oh, yeah. And so I know I know all about the homies over there and, you know what I mean, what they stand for and everything like that. So, But, hey, shout out to Oildale, though. What's up with that? Shout right out Oildale. Oh, wait. Oildale, baby. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's go. Oh, wait. How much is it to buy a house? Hey, hey, hey Trubs, we love you, baby. <laughs> love you, Trubs. Hey, hey uh, how much is it to buy a house in Bakersfield? Uh, you get a very, very nice one for 300000 yeah, That's why you got a lot true. of people in L.A. going to Bakersfield, right? And yeah, that shot faded me, dog. Huh? That shot faded me. I went to go read what it was and it's in Spanish. Well, yeah. You're good, bro? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm okay. good. <laughs> so pineapple, 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 pineapple. Good. Uh, 300000 <laughs> Nice yeah, I've, I've, I've nice seen house. that. Yeah. yeah. You could get some mid-century houses, too, for the low out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Flip them. So yeah. A lot of people. I mean, how, does, how long does it take to get from... Uh, Bakersfield to LA? Two hours. Two hours? Uh huh. Not bad. I just go through the grapevines, done, man. You're done. Well, yeah, that grapevine is a that motherfucker, grab, bro. Grapevine, bro. Mm. It's fun. Yeah. You can smash on it. It's a nice, it's a nice view. It is a nice it view. Is. What, really what, is. what is, what's, what's on your bucket list for life, bro? Mm. I would like to leave the United States. I would like to expunge my record. I'd still like to get a Class A license. You want to you wanna be a truck driver? No, but I was enrolled in Class A life Tractor, school. Lucky, come on. Tractor, come on, you know, yeah. Overalls and tractor. Sorry, bro. <laughs> go ahead, brother. I um, I was enrolled in Class A. And what happened was, man, uh, I went to go take my test at the DMV, and my Social Security card was shot out, and they wouldn't accept it. So I blew up on the school, like, what the fuck? I went to school for how long? You guys see my Social Security card. You deal the DMV. You should have knew they would not accept it because they wouldn't let me take the test. So I got out of them all crazy, and I went to school on a grant. So they called the people who gave me the grant and said, we don't want to do in our school no more because I kind of blew up at them. So that's when I went to electrical school. But I still want to go back and finish what I started. I think it'd be cool to have a class A. 100%, bro. Yeah. I mean, so let's, let's say this, bro. 
what you used to believe in and what you believe in now. What would be those? Okay. I used to believe in today only matters, no the, consequences, all about today. Get in where you fit in and use people, honestly. Use people. Use people, bro. Get what you can get. Only about today, no consequences. Just like what you've been said several times today, survival of the fittest. I think that comes from the childhood. Just you have to fight for every little breadcrumb. Especially, like I said, too, if I live with my aunt and uncles and my cousins, they're there with their mom and dad, and I'm a nephew. So I'm not going to get the same love as my uncle's going to give their, my cousin, their kid, more love than me. So I'm going to have to fight a little bit. Do you have kids? Again. Have you had kids? No. Why not? You shooting blanks? Prison time. Prison. I hope not. Too much prison, man. Too much prison, huh? And then when, since I got out, you know, it's kind of trip, man, too, getting sober because I brought this up on my channel. I did in and out of prison, and when I'm out, I'm using. So I'm in the drug crowd at the dope houses, hooking up with hood rats, very easy. And then when you get sober, and there's no dope house, no hood rat to, to talk to you, what do you, how do you get girls? What, Tinder, Walmart? You have to walk up and ask them for their number, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, what's your cousin's name? Oh boy, but your neighbor? <laughs> hey, what's up, girl? At the mailbox, like, hey, what maybe, do you do, man? It's different. Maybe that's why they do start hitting up their cousins. I think so, and sisters, <laughs> as Darren knows quite well. <laughs> so now, now you catching on. Hey, I'm catching on. <laughs> We're gonna switch it up. We are gonna switch it up. The live tonight's gonna be lit. Prison POV. I mean, so yeah, so you with you, with your podcast, bro. You don't usually do lives. You do pre-recorded videos mm. where you just like make sure it's accurate, make sure it's correct. I mean, doing a live fucking stream is I it, know is pretty. Uh, you know, what I mean, it, and usually people talk shit, man, and we usually get rid of them. The moderators get rid of them. From now on, I need to coax them. They need to say something to be nice and say, yeah, I love you too. I might yeah. try it out, bro. Yeah, a lot of your uh, a lot of your POV members were telling me to block people, but I, we're not really with about that. Blocking huh? I mean, what what what, what was just, what, what, what were people saying? Though, well, bro? people were just you know just, just obviously the cool stuff. If, if people spam, then then obviously I block them because right. they're they're just disrupting the chat. But usually, I mean, we let people talk <laughs> crap just because that's how uh, we kind of run this. And, yeah, and and I see the the beauty in it. And you remember, and and you remember, it's only it's only when you respond to when you really give them that light, or else mm -hmm. it just goes away. You're on hood stocks. Talk to us. You're on hood stocks. Talk to us. Let's go to the next. We got Modesto right here. You're on hood stocks. Talk to us. Hey, uh, Mr. Twitter, uh, very good content that you spit out, man. I listen to you all the time, man. Keep on going, keep on pushing, dude. I enjoy listening to your story, man. Right on, thank you. you. I appreciate you, that. Man. More than you know, man. To you, my my man, you let me call in when B Real is on your show. Much respect to you, man. That's right, God brother. God bless you both, you sir. Appreciate thank you, you brother. Appreciate Absolutely, it. Very bro. much so. Yeah. You know, so you, you've captured an audience by telling your most vulnerable stories mm. is that is that correct yes and so you've you've been able to capture from your bedroom with the fucking phone camera bro mm. twenty one thousand subscribers dog yes. that's a fucking that's a, that's right there is amazing bro is that that is a testament to the to the power that you and hold bro wow. that you you Thank hold you. bro mm. like you know what i mean like bro like Thank you. I don't. I don't really look at it like that, or I don't know if I'm even capable of seeing it like that. But I appreciate the compliment. And a lot of us don't, bro. A no, lot no. of us don't, dog. Mm. A lot of us are just like, oh, we, I'm just doing me. Mm. You know what I mean? And they happen to be fucking with it. Mm. You yeah. know? Yeah. And and you're you're inspiring people. You're changing people's lives, brother. Mm. You exactly. know. And at the same time, it's therapy to you, brother. Mm. Yes, that's it, the cutest dog. That's my. That's my. Come here, buddy. I'm a dog whisperer, man. I love dogs. Check that dog out. That is a good looking dog, man. Huh? What's up, man? So, yeah. So, so I had my homeboy Weasel pick up this dog for me out there in the Victorville area. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, this guy, he doesn't even have a name yet, bro. Really? He doesn't, he doesn't even have a name yet, bro. Because he's, so I, I, I told my homeboy, because I, I couldn't get out that way. I said, give me the biggest one. And he's oh, like, so dog. Apologize, sorry. He's like the biggest one oh, is, is a little scared, bro. His name's Charms. What's his name? Charms. Charms. Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. I'm feeling oh, it. I'm feeling it. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, that's, that's true. Charms. Yeah. <laughs> bro, he this dude right here is very like. Mellow. Yeah, mellow, dude. Like he doesn't bark. He doesn't trip on nothing, bro. 
What's up, buddy? He doesn't even have a name yet, bro. Like we he charms. for a week. I got bit by a canine. German Shepherd. This this we, we I got AKC papers on this dude. When? This dude is from this is a like a, a bread that is like I got paperwork on. This isn't just like a backyard boogie dog. Oh yeah, well I heard this they're trying dog. to deport his ass. <laughs> Hey, we're having a uh, we're having a no, serious conversation, not. bro. You're, what? Can we turn down my headphones a little bit? Yeah, yeah like thank you. Down. Yeah, I got you, dog. Thank so you. when did you get bit by a canine? Uh, running from the cops, dude. Yeah, running from the cops. I jumped a fence. I really got mostly jacked up by the razor wire. And I had told people that on my channel. And when she saw the razor wire cuts for the first time in person, she's like, "Damn, those look crazy. You weren't lying." Yeah, I got jacked up by razor wire, and I hid under a trailer. And um, a German Shepherd, a canine, a sheriff dog went out there and got that ass. Damn. Mm hmm. I tried to escape from the hospital. Of course I did. We're you supposed to, right? Escape from the hospital? Yes. What hospital are you in? Kerr Medical Center. Kerr Medical Center. It's like the county hospital. They take the, you know what I'm saying? Inmates and all that. I was hoping like it was a psych ward or something like that. Oh, well, I wish. Just a fucking. I know. That was good on my record, actually. <laughs> Social Security real easy. So we got meds. Do you get, do you get uh, money from the state? No. How do you make your money? YouTube right now. YouTube right YouTube now. YouTube right now. Like I told you, I came to a fork in the road where to keep it 100% real, when I got out of school to be an electrician, it was January, it was winter time, and I sweat real bad some methadone. I was not looking forward to going to work and sweating. So I thought I'd put off a couple months. And then plus a dude told me he was going to give me a job. Shout out to you, and I'm the whole nothing against you because I know things fall through. But I was kind of waiting on that and all my eggs one basket. Dude says he's going to get me a job, which I shouldn't have just, you know. So just waited for him. He never called. Time went by. I came to a fork in the road. Am I going to go to work and hit it hard 40 hours a week or put a bunch of applications in or just hit it hard on YouTube? You know, if I make decent money posting one day a week, what if I post it every fucking day? How, how are you with uh, authority? Mm, I think I respect it if I respect the person. And I think I, if, I, if I know that I'm in fault, if what they're telling me, I don't know, I guess. When was I'd the last me. job you've had? Last job I had? Right before COVID. I worked as a, um, on a drilling rig. We would drill holes for water, water pumps, water wells, the farmers. Like in Joe Dirt? Yes. I even had a mullet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got the picture, did we not? <laughs> yes, I've, I've had jobs. I've had to because I got a pad. I got to pay the bills, man. What are your, what are your ticks in life? What ticks you off? Mm -hmm. What, what, what though do you not stand for? Man, I hate red lights. I hate traffic. I do not like two-faced people. I do not like people who come in, like they want to be your friend. They come in with compliments, be nice, and yeah, put your guard down and let them in. And then they're in position to hurt you. You could now you're vulnerable in, and they use that against you. And then they get real critical and just start talking shit now they're in. You know, and it's like motherfucker. Or the people that come with, hey bro, I love you so much, man. I love you, but you know, suck a fat dick. But now, which I'm starting to learn, is cool. Maybe I should say thank you to that. So yeah, but I didn't like it before. I don't like the, the, the mixed signals. Someone comes in, I'm your friend, but talk some shit and just, I don't know, man. I mean, that's life, bro. That's it the people life. that is around us, 100%, bro. It is, huh? You know what I mean? Like, that's people that, that's around me, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, they, they just say, hey, look, blah, blah, blah. when they're around me, they're like, ah, look, blah, 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 blah. But in the background, they're just fucking, just talking a mess, dog. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's life, bro. And you it gotta deal with it. And it's it sucks, road, yeah. dog. Life sucks, bro. Mm. When, you, when you die, where are you going? I'm going to heaven. You're going, what is heaven? Heaven is in the presence of God. Duh, Lucky. Is in the presence of God. <laughs> yes. What? It's a duh, don't you know that? <laughs> Everybody has their own definition of heaven, you fucking dumb. There's fuck. only one Christian definition of heaven. <laughs> you dog, you know what, dog? As many people as we have on here, bro. You know what I mean? Like, there can be m multiple uh, definitions of what heaven is, bro. You know what I mean? Heaven might be a, mo a hotel room full of fucking prostitutes, bro. I would have told you that 10 years ago. Heaven was a big shot of heroin. Yeah, my chin yeah. on my chest. Duh, fucking Casey, you stupid fuck. <laughs> Get that for some gummy bears, bro. You know what I mean? What the fuck? Calm his ass down. <laughs> it was a joke. You just couldn't take it because you're high. Mm. No, I could take it. For oh, yeah? oh, yeah? Hold Say on a joke a right now. Hold Say on. a joke right now. <laughs> Hold on, let me put it on this fucking dumbass fool right now, dog. I mean, go well, ahead, he's bro. He's mad because I told him that. No, I ain't is... mad because he told you that, dog. It's just he's, it, he's it, like, oh, actually. <laughs> hey, I love your crew and your posse, by the way. <laughs> the viewers they see Lucky Sun Zoom, but he's got a crew of posse behind him that are cooler than a polar bear's toenail. The company you keep is rad, dog. 
That's why boy lingo. You might not, you know, rad. You what? know, no. I I Aaron, why bro. doesn't anybody who ever calls in you try know, to FaceTime? No, you know what it is, dog? Check it out, dog. The dudes I have around me, bro, are not yes men, dog. They're all alphas, bro. Oh, okay, that's they're, what you gotta all, have. They're all alphas, And I get dog. that. Including the littlest dick in here, and that's Casey, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> the littlest dick in here, and... Bro, that's what it's gotta be, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like they all, they're, bro, if I had a bunch of dudes that bro be like, yeah, lucky, we're fucking lucky, mm -hmm. you're the greatest dog, boom. I'd be like, man, get this punk ass fool out of here, dog. Back when she used to watch my videos, she stopped watching them like about five videos ago, she would grade him. Like, I'm not gonna take it easy on you. I'm gonna tell you what she did good, what she did bad. And so, but. <laughs> bro, like you gotta have, you gotta have like, so Casey right here, what he's doing right now? Huh? So someone in the comments said, what do Mexicans use to cut pizza? Little Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny, Adam. That, that must have been one of your followers yeah, right I there, sir. So. Yeah, that's a fucking prison That was POV Darren, right homeboy. That was Darren. He came back. Oh, he's got jokes. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's get another phone call right here, dog. We got phone, phone calls. Call? The phone call's been going off the hook, dog. I just haven't been getting them. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. What up, what up, what up? What up, dog? What's up, lucky man? This is a uh, little sporty from Florence Gang, dog. But I'm out here in Montana. Oh, cool. You ain't from Florence no more, homie. You from motherfucking Montana, homie. Yeah, no shit, no shit. You're like fucking Florencia, Montana, clica. Yeah, hell nah, dude. You, you can't even claim your hood no more, bro. You know what I mean? You were fucking on the mountain with a motherfucking ice pick and motherfucking and some husky bello. dogs. You ready to go down the motherfucking slope? Yeah, that's, just a, that's just a trip out here, dog. Fuck. Yeah, I, I, you telling me, bro. I ain't never been there. I'm just talking shit, bro. Tell me about that life, dog. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Shit. You got Splinter right I here. Mean, Talk to him. Hey. This is a trip. That's, it's, what's up, Splinter? Shout out to you, man. Thank you, bro. That's just a trip out here, though. I feel like going back in time and shit. Everything moves dog, a little slower You, you know shit. what, dog? You can't even claim Florencia no more, dog. Just claim Montana, dog. Montana, homie. Nah. I mean, I'm out here doing my thing, dog. Yeah. All right, dog. Well, just, well, say your government name, bro. You know what I mean? What's your government name, dog? Richie? You know what I mean? Fucking cutting Richie. him. Richie. <laughs> Nah, hell, Charlie, though. My name is Frank, though. Frank, all right, Frank. Uh, you know what I mean? You know, what was the last time you had a Frank? <laughs> oh my god. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? A kosher nice dog? <laughs> <laughs> My bad, dog. I love you, baby. Shout out to Montana, nah, dog. Hey, you know we, we, you know I fuck with the boys from Lancia right here, dog. You know I mean, don't play with it. Well, dog. how high you, dog. do your socks have to be in Montana? You know, they're not high at all, bro. I mean, they got Isn't different socks out there, bro. Yeah, I mean, Florencia. I mean, Montana, dog. You got motherfucking uh, shit that's fucking uh, ice cold, dog. You gotta have that motherfucker. Hey, you're on hood socks. Talk to us. Hey, what's up, Lucky? It's Vida. Vida. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to you and your guests. Okay. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, you love. Yeah, I'm just fucking with you because that's just my personality. I mean, it's not right. You know what I mean? I got a tick. Okay. I need I need an extra, uh, I got an extra cro chromosome in my head or something. Oh, damn. It's all right. Go ahead, love. I love you. And I thank you every time you call in. You know we fuck with you. you know what I mean, I'm just fucking yeah, around. Yeah, I just want to put one thing out there, Lucky, real quick, one time for everybody that's listening. Um, you got, I have like a, a punk on your channel for some reason who's trying to pretend he's me. So if he's out there saying stuff under my name, that's not me, you guys. I'm not disrespectful towards myself or anybody on the on the chat. So just so, all so you guys know, like, that's not me, okay? If somebody's out there saying shit that I want your dick and whatever, that's not me. <laughs> you would <laughs> never, you would never want a dick. Stop it. <laughs> Don't worry, I put him in timeout. A user's in time no, out. I mean, to my hater, like whoever that is, like sit down and play your role, whatever that is. I know you have a lot of time on your hands to to make a profile of me and shit, but you know, sit down oh. and play your role in life, whatever that is. Ooh. Hey, it's crazy, man. There's levels to this game. Even the chat line got haters, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's God. crazy. Damn, That's they ridiculous. just trying to be you, girl. You know what I mean? All fucking, you know what I mean? All sexy and shit. All fucking uh, vida, maravilla, fucking, what's your name again, girl? You know what I mean? Like, God damn it. Like, it ain't easy. Like, you in the chat line with a push-up bra on and shit, showing your titties. And they just, they should have seen it wrong. Like, this is like, this is push-up. 
up. This is push up bra <laughs> comments. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You ever see fools that are leaving push up bra comments? Like it's not all the tits that you think it is. You know what I mean? Oh, it's man. just crazy. You know what I mean? Like, Those are like some fools, some fools be trying to leave long dick comments. You know what I mean? Like fool, you got yes. four inches, bitch. You know what I mean? You ain't. How you gonna leave this long dick comment? You know what I mean? Like it's there's levels to the chat line. Look at fucking K9 right here. K9 is leaving. K9, what are you leaving, bro? <laughs> it was some bystander. Sorry. Uh, hey. Should ask him when he's going to practice. Hey, you know what, girl? You do you. We love you. Don't worry about these motherfuckers and take it as a compliment. How about that? No, I do. I do. I just don't want people thinking, you know, that that's me and I'm coming out here disrespecting like that. Cause I'm not. You know what's crazy is because you're really you're really a real person. You know what I mean? Like you're just like you know what they can't see my picture, they can see my name, but I gotta protect my name in the chat line. You know what I mean? No, they can no see who I am on my channel. Huh? <laughs> they can see who I am on my channel. Who are you on your channel? What do you do on your channel, girl? Go to my channel. I mean, it's just a little bit of shorts of, of me, you know, of who I am. But yeah. I don't like all that disrespectful shit, you know. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Are you? Are you fucking? What are you doing on your channel, girl? No, they're just little shorts. They're just like little shorts, shorts of what? Of shorts. What are you doing? On, what, are you, like, what are you doing? No, are you, are you like eating a watermelon? What are you doing? <laughs> No, eating bananas. <laughs> oh, kind of bananas. <laughs> Chiquita bananas. <laughs> you guys are funny. What kind of bananas? <laughs> you like them African bananas? You like them Asian bananas? Is there Asian bananas? They're small. <laughs> They're small. <laughs> You like them? 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 Press them bananas? Well, now she just got 900 subscribers on her channel. She just got, yeah, she just boosted her subscription. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? There's to be a lot more shorts tomorrow. Lucky. What? Listen. What? I'm listening. I'm in my tattoo session, right? What are you getting? Are you getting a tramp stamp? Listen, Go I ahead. told my tattoo artist, he was like, who are you watching? And I was like, that's who stuck. So he stopped, put it on the TV, and all his all his clients started watching you. So now you got a lot of subscribers, and Sick. you got a lot Good. more views, and you have... Stop <laughs> acting like I owe you, you something, girl. Winner, you Stop acting like I owe you something. Chiquita banana. <laughs> Chiquita banana. <laughs> All right, well, much love to you guys. Much love to your guests. Much, much love, love to all the haters. Much love to you, baby. We're just fucking with you. I love you, baby. I'm sorry. And I loved it, by the way, when I noticed someone make a bank Instagram account of me. I did think it was what a great What did they do, Doug? Was it, was, was it a picture of you with yes, tits and an ass? Yes, all that with a dress on. Asking for donations. Damn, Doug. They know that I don't wear a dress and I ask for donations. I'm gonna, you know what, dog? If I can get some good donations, I will put a dress on right now, dog. You know what I mean, I need the money, bitch. These motherfuckers are costing me. Preston, K9, Casey, they're like, where's my money at? And I'm like, bitch, it's coming. Mm. It is coming, too. It is coming, brother. Hey, hey Splinter, I have, a, oh, I, I have a question. It's usually not stated. Um, we would, we usually, we'd like to know of how uh, your name came about. Splinter, oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, Splinter. It came about because you know uh, Peckerwood, right? And when I start going to jail, believe it or not, you might not be able to tell by looking at me. A little bit smaller dude than average. I I'm slim and trim like a let's bicycle. See what, let's see slim what you're at. Trim. Well, you got to, you got you got to, turn around, dog. Let's see. No, Flex the cheeks. I can't, I can't. Okay, but I'm slim and trim like a bicycle rim. And so what they said was, uh, uh, you're a little piece of wood. You're a splinter. A, 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 a spina. A spina. Splinter, you're a little piece of wood, homie. And it's stuck. And then when I grew to this size, the Hulk you see in front of you, still want to call me Splinter. Nothing I can do about it, dog. You got an amazing fucking physique, dog. Thank you. Yeah, you got an amazing physique, yeah, dog. Thank you, thank you. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Can we hit the, can we hit the? Of course you can, sir. Hey, listen, we we heading to the end of this podcast, but we're going to do it like this. You know what I mean? Uh, what's up? You are, well, get the fuck out, bitch. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Okay, next phone caller. We're, we're ending to the end of this podcast. Get in where you fit in. Throw a good question out there. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to Splinter right here. Why you yeah. All right, Splinter. It's Sean McHugh. What's up, brother? What's going on, brother? Did you say Sean Blue? 
What do you say? What? No, John McHugh. Okay, yeah, yeah. What's up, dog? What's up, humble? Ah, uh, just saying, good, good job, man. Good Thank job you, I appreciate too, it. Rusty. You know, we're just, ha- we're just having fun right here. I don't know if it's a good job or bad job or whatever the fuck it is, dog. It's a we're job. Just, we're just here talking shit, having a good time, dog. You know what I mean? Everything might not be 100% accurate, dog. No, it you is. Know what I mean? But it is what it, it is. is, baby. I oh, mean, for sure, for this sure. Is, this is real life on a fucking podcast, bro. Mm-hmm. Real life. There, nothing is scripted right here. Nothing no, will no, be no. perfect, dog. Mm. If you're looking for a fucking movie script, this could be potentially it, dog. It could you know be. I mean, for something that's not correct. You know what I mean? Right. Anyways, yeah. We love you, we dog. We love you, brother. We love John you. McHugh, sure, that's sure. Homie right there, dog. Respect. Absolutely, dog. Uh, Splinter, heading out of this podcast, bro. We, how are you? Like three, yeah, hours. three hours, baby. Three I mean, hours. How do we do this, dog? How do we end this, Blue dog? Bye. How do we end this? Tell everybody thank you. I mean, we had a great time. Invite me back for a part two in a couple months. Tell the viewers. Splinter will be back in a few months for a part two. Thank you very much. It's much love. Absolutely. Um, your favorite musician. Hmm. It varies. Right now, I'd really like to say, damn, what am I listening to mostly of? Um, corn. Oh, I fucking love corn so much, dog. Oh, my God, dog. Oh, I love corn so much, dog. I listen to a lot of rap, though. That got me in trouble back in the day in prison, which I guess it's good. It's all go. It all yeah, goes you nowadays. Get it. You can get in trouble for listening to rap as a wood? Yeah, definitely. Ooh. One time wow. I got burned off. We were having a big white meeting, a junta, and I borrowed this dude's Walkman. And I put a classic like rap, bro. So I listened to rap station. I gave him his Walkman back. And of course, I'm really, I didn't like, you know, mix the radio station up. I kept on what I was listening to. He's like, thank you, Splinter. Whoops. I didn't know where the rap station was at. Thank you very much for that. Fronted me off in a white meeting. But yeah, they frowned on it. Like, what are you white boy for listening to rap? Maybe different now. You, As you stated earlier, things are different in prison. And then we were, when we went, right? Sounds about right, bro. Sounds, sounds about right. Sounds right, though. Yeah. If, if, if it ain't white. It ain't right. <laughs> I just and I know these fucking things from just these being affirmation time. Huh? Yeah, pops up in your affirmation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, you put me up on this all this game. Um, I'm gonna have to go get a quarter pounder with milk. Shut the fuck milk. up, fool. Get a quarter pounder with a dick in your ass, bitch. <laughs> sorry about that, <laughs> Tourette's. Um, so spreads. What do you know about spreads, I love bro? them, bro. I love what, them. What do you know about spreads? You love them, but what do you know about spreads? I love them. A recipe. Go. Okay, you got to have the beans, the dehydrated beans, which are kind of hard to find on the streets. The better if you just order them from Amazon, whatever. Keefy. You got to have the, di- di- the oh dehydrated beans. I don't know why I keep hitting the microphone. Dehydrated beans, top ramen. Come in, bro. You're too far, bro. Okay, my bad. Yeah, put that mic in your mouth. Mm, I know I do that, huh? <laughs> dehydrated beans. Uh, I hate to say it, but summer sausage. I know you're going to make some kind of joke. I'm not, bro. Okay. Stop feeling Big so defensive, summer sausage bro. about this long. You don't want to chop it up. You want the whole thing in there. And whoever gets in their bowls, the lucky one. <laughs> 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 Come on, Trevor. That's going to be your soul. Damn it, bro. <laughs> you don't need me to make the jokes. You're making it yourself right now, you fucking asshole. <laughs> uh, of course, you got to have chips, my boy, because you got to have something dry and crunchy with that. You know what? I know a little bit about chefing and whatnot. Dry and crunchy. Uh, of course, spicy. Bro, your ass, you're looking at me like I'm going to bust a fucking joke on everything you say. Stop it, I, dog. I hope you do. You're being defensive. I want you to. Bro. No, I'm not. Watch this on the playback. Definitely not. I'm open to it. Bring it. I love it. Hey, but I just said you want it spicy because you don't. You want your butthole to burn for more than just one reason in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you. Oh, my God. That was a good one, bro. Go ahead, bro. Almost too good, huh? <laughs> Almost too good that you want seconds. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, go ahead, keep going, bro. Oh, what else? Yeah, top ramen, so the so chips, so the dehydrated beans, a big old summer sausage, something spicy. Oh, what do you know about the the, the rooster, the sriracha, yes. the sriracha, homeboy? Oh, that's bomb, Where are you bro. At? I love that, baby. Mm-hmm. I love it. And bro. of course, some tortillas. Throw it all in there. How about you're making a spread every night, right? You and your homeboys get together, and that fool walks by and just throws one soup on there. It's like, get the fuck out of here with your one soup. How you might throw into the it? spread every night. How do you feel about when the dude just shows up with this fucking bread, bro? Okay, I respect that because that's a broke dick motherfucker. And it's like, okay, I, I, I'll fill that bread for you. But don't try sliding with that soup, but I know you got chips in your locker. They get down yeah. like that, huh? Yeah, 100%, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. When you walk the tier of a prison yard, mm-hmm. when people see you walking, if I'm in a cell mm-hmm. and I see you walking by my cell, who am I looking at? Looking at me? Yeah, who am I looking at, bro? Splint Dizzle. 
The one and only. And who does Sprint Dizzle, the Splint, one and only Splint represents? Dizzle. Splint, Splint Dizzle. Dizzle. Splint Dizzle. Only Sprint Dizzle when someone wants to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here, homeboy. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Sprint Dizzle. Hey, one time I did have to run these, these hey. Hey, I went, I went and coughed a, a half pound of weed. And I put it in my, my backpack from New Connect, and I, I jumped the fence, and these three, dude, these three dudes, some enemies, pulled up on me, and I took off running. I was more worried they'd take my weed from me to beat my ass, and they kept calling my house all night saying, we're Speedy. Put Speedy on the phone. Got the fuck out of Dodge, homeboy. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Have you ever written any poems in the prison system? Yes. Do you remember any of them? Mm, no. Unfortunately. No. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. I love him. You love him? He's badass. I still want to know, okay, as far as Johnny Cash goes, who made that song hurt first? Johnny Cash, Nine Inch Nails. Ooh. Well, Dick, it had to be Johnny Cash, Dick. That's what I always thought. But no, I think he dog, Nine Inch Nails didn't come until after that fool. But I think Johnny Cash might have copied them. That's, uh, no, that's what I used to it. think. He redid it. He did. No, yeah, Dick. See? Yeah. yeah, that's what he confuses me. Get the fuck out, get bro. The fuck out Johnny here. Cash died in like the 80s, bro. Oh, no, that like fool. Yeah, that fool died like yeah, like in 2000s. And yeah, he's still No, not 2000s, song. bitch. Yeah. I thought he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Are you serious, bro? He copied their song. That's cool. Did he copy Dick? He just redid it. Did he? Did Johnny Cash? Yes, copy, copy Nine Inch Nails. Hurt. Nine Inch Nails. No, yes. so the, he remade it. He remade it. Hurt. I hurt myself today. How about if I covered your song, your rap song, about I love so much your intro? Yeah, Nine Inch Nails in, 19, in 1994. Johnny Cash died in 2003. Yes, he 2003. Yeah, he was. When did he put that song out, though, bro? 2003. Ooh, right before oh, he died. Shit. Are you serious? <laughs> when, let's get some. No, let's run some facts real quick. Okay, huh? so Trent Renzer yes. is uh, part of Nine Inch Nails, wrote it in uh, an album called Downward Spiral, Spiral that was released in 1994. Mm -hmm. 94, so. Yeah, he and he released it until 2002. Johnny Cash did. I can't. I can't apologize. I can't. Pineapple. <laughs> no, that's my, my own thing. I baited out that last one. No, boy. I am. <laughs> you know what I've been, I've been really, I've been fucking like deeply on, dog. Like, so if you, if you know anything about Lucky, dog, you know that rap music is secondary to my music. My music is like rock, like death metal, like just like, I love like, instruments in a music guitars yeah bro hmm. like i love music like have you ever been to like so check it out let's 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 say it like this you can you bro you can go into a you can go to a concert and there's a dj and a dude rapping mm -hmm. and and that's uh something you're gonna feel yes right yes Cause everything, every vibration is a feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's let let me correct myself real quick. Every every vibration is a feeling. Yes. And so when you go to a concert that has a bass player, a drummer, mm. two guitarists, talk to me, somebody playing the fucking piano right here, mm. a singer, bro, that right there, fire. I agree. That right there is an, it's equivalent to an orchestra. Mm, it is. And so when we talk about levels of vibrations, and I'm fucked up right now, but <laughs> I, I just want to say this right now. When you go to a, a concert that has a full band on it, it's not going to be nothing to, compared to a person that just had a DJ a beat mm. playing no. and a dude rapping. Dude. No way. Way I'm more so filling, right? Yeah. Everyone's putting their blood, sweat, and tears into it. Their soul, huh? Bro, each, I love instrument. I, yeah, bro. Like, I love, I love, I love music, bro. And when we talk about music, bro, it it, it has been saturated with this rap thing, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's been saturated with this rap music, bro. But music is instruments. Yes. I love it. Live instruments. Mm -hmm. People that are having faces to these instruments, not a sample where you don't have no faces to to the sounds. Mm -hmm. When you have faces to the sounds, now you're talking. 
Now you're fucking talking. And now you're vibrating. And now you got a frequency going. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. Honestly, we need to get back to the fucking MTV days where we just had fucking bands, bro. I'm tired of this rap music, bro. I really am, bro. I'm over it, bro. Well, it's it's mm. it's on a down. Well, I mean, I'm over it, dog. Well, I'm really the new genre is gonna come soon. When is it coming, dog? Because I'm I, tired of all these fools rapping, bro. Yeah, I need, it's cold. I know the new genre I need that's bands, here. I need bands fucking to come back, bro. Well, you and I are going to do the blues. We already decided, remember? You're going to sing the blues over my blues guitar riffs. Ooh, that'd be fire, dog. It'll be fire. Can you imagine, dog? Yeah, I'm imagining. Real talk. We're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Hey, we everybody give it up for Splinter at hey. a POV. Thank uh, you. Prison Woo! POV, baby. It's been amazing, dog. We are out of here, baby. Bakers for California, dog. We love you, motherfuckers. And uh, this is what it is. Any shout outs, any plugs, give it right now, bro. Shout out to Prison POV, the Point of View crew. Shout out to Green Eye Gemini. Shout out to Vice President Derek. Shout out to Bakersfield. Shout out to the Woodpile. Shout out to Lucky and, and your entourage, your crew. You got some cool people with you, bro. You really do. And you yourself. I love you, man. Give them basketball. Hey. Hey, I love you. I, I love, love you, too, dog. baby. I love you too, dog. Can Give I? him a basketball. See if he can make a shot. Oh, I know I can't. Where's it at? Give him a basketball. Oh, I don't want to hit oh the dog it's right there, right there. Right there. I don't want to yeah, hit the dog. let's see if we make a shot, dog. We gotta hit the dog to move, though. Can I hit the dog? No, you're good. Don't worry about that, dog. Oh! It was right there. Give him another shot. Give him another shot. Oh, now I'm way off. Give him another shot, dog. Give him another shot. I'm gonna do it. Okay, here we go. Oh! We're not gonna end it till you make a shot, bro. Oh my gonna be here all day. <laughs> what the fuck, dog? We're trying to end the podcast. Oh, this fool can't make a Let shot, dog. Oh, oh come on, one time, bro. Come on, oh, come on, one more time, dog. Come You're getting closer now, bro. Ball, right there. Right. Give him the ball. Right. Give him the ball. Hey, switch the camera. All right. You said ball. Where, 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 where? where? <laughs> there it is, right there. We love you guys. We are out of here, dog. Bye, bye.